it, so you can see it on YouTube. I believe. Yeah. Is why is it a black screen? I don't know. <laughs> okay, there. Just it is. give it a second. There you go. I'm so scared. There you go. Yeah, it takes a second and a half, and then there should be a. Oh, now, yeah, now we're streaming. <laughs> yep, <laughs> it's fine. People isn't here to see us struggle as usual. <laughs> Great, it's uh, fine. It's fine. It's fine. fine. It's Everything fine. Is <laughs> fine. It is fine. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, um, I hope people can hear you because I have no clue. I turned up my volume. Uh, that was very fine. Yeah, 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 they can hear me. They can hear me. Eagle Dragon, hello. <laughs> hola, como estas, mi amigo? <laughs> God, I'm gonna stay on the YouTube first. Ugh. Can I mute? <laughs> I can't mute. Okay. <sighs> Alright, YouTube. You better not fucking lag on me or I'm going to... Okay, cool. They can hear you. Which is nice. Uh, I told you they could hear me. That's good. I wanted to make sure. What, <laughs> you don't trust me? Of course I do. Anyways, how to fix the YouTube? <laughs> YouTube is like, hey, the flux thing is <laughs> mediocre, you asshole. Uh. Anyways, I just I'm just gonna wait until more people show up before I start talking to myself. <clears throat> uh. I am nervous. I'm asking Crypto if they want to see the stream so they can berate me. Yes, I do trust Gracie. Also, you misspelled the name. Oh, I literally don't care. People call me Greeky. <laughs> Greeky. Greeky. Okay, hold on. Also known as a menace to society. Ah. As all of us are, to be quite honest. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to Am I allowed to swear? <laughs> Did... No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Am I allowed to swear? Yes. I mean, we swore earlier, homie. I didn't swear. You swore. Or speak for yourself. But if I swore, then why would you think you're not allowed? I didn't know if you were streaming like that. <laughs> you're... You are allowed to swear, homie. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Okay. You are allowed to swear, sister. Okay. Okay, dokey. Cool, 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 cool. I have half a brain. Let's do this. <laughs> are you sure you don't want to get something to eat first? I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Are you sure you're not? Because that sounds like a lie. <laughs> right. Tommy is not tingling with the faint I need to eat feel, you know? You get me? You hear what I'm saying, my homie? Sure. If I need to eat, I promise I will eat. I cannot... If I don't eat, Helen, Helen, I will get angry and sad. So I can't... I don't even know. So I am under law, I promise. Okay. Uh. No, I don't want to open Twitch. No, I don't want to open Twitch. Go away. <laughs> Twitch, no. God. That's not what we were asking for today. Yeah, apparently it's just us. I mean, to be fair, I guess I did say in the community post that it was supposed to be later, but the show I was supposed to do was cancelled. So I'm here more early. I mean, you could have waited it yeah. until... <laughs> I got nervous and wanted to do it now. Well, it's okay. People are just gonna just rewatch things. Yeah. That or I can make a community post like, "Hey, people, I'm live." I mean, I'm spamming it in chat right now. So, who talked to me? 
<laughs> oh, I've been mentioned in this server. Come on, streamers. Where is the streamer chat? Where is the streamer chat? <laughs> You're, you'll find it eventually, bud. Uh, the tutorials Why didn't are... Helen give me permission to post stream announcements? You, does that mean you'll have to, like, to just go on my stream, just mute the thing, and just look at the chat? Helen. Wait, can I give myself the streamer role? I probably can. Hold on. I don't fucking know. Give me a second. Uh, the tutorial is because over the few years, there are a lot of people who are like, how do you do this thing? How do you do that? And every time I just. I try to explain with words, but I suck. Edit roles. Can and... I have the streamer role? Thank you. <laughs> And, uh, well, and, like, recently, mm -hmm. I, I have a few friends that keep coming to me for art advice, and I try my best, and oftentimes I have to, like, draw the thing to help them. And since I made a tutorials for them, I'm like, maybe I should just live stream it so more people can see it. And if someone, yet, yeah, I just, I'm just trying my best here. I don't, I suck at explaining with words. So my plan is to, uh... To give a little advice of what I do things, uh, some sketches, and then afterwards I'm gonna ask if people want specific uh, tutorials, like if they want to know how to color eye or whatever, how I do it, things like that. It's just hard to do that. Yeah, visual. And are in the comedic relief. <laughs> Gracie is my moral support, and I appreciate her greatly for this. She's also here to cause chaos, as usual, which I appreciate as well. <laughs> but it's just hard- it's just hard to do that when there's not a lot of people, and I guess- I, I guess I could start with the thing and people can just rewatch it later? <laughs> You're just here for the ride. I appreciate this a lot. Thank you. Should I do a community post saying I'm alive? I'm alive. Oh, yes, I'm alive. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I am alive. You've got to clickbait it. Like, guys, I survived the hospital. <laughs> Three days after getting out, I'm streaming to you, my lovely audience, who I missed so much. Yeah, no, that sounds like a fucking YouTube apology video, and I hate it. Yeah, but that's what works, you know? That's why apology videos get clicks. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. Guys, I'm sorry. I haven't uploaded... And then you start crying. It's just been a hard time recently. <laughs> and actually, I'm the victim and not you guys. <laughs> I mean, I did share the stream with like a whole like server full of people. So maybe it's them. Guys, don't be afraid to berate me. It's okay. Oh, just talk, <laughs> please. You're allowed to say hello. Don't be shy, don't be shy, don't be shy, don't be shy. I see you. I see you. <laughs> it went from don't be shy to I am a menace. Hello. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. You're sitting down in your little chair watching this on your computer or on your phone. Gracie. I see you. Gracie's like, I see you in your sleep. I see you when I sleep. You're in my dreams. <laughs> Thank you for talking. I feel less alone. We feel less alone. Gracie is the voice in my head now. Yeah. I appreciate her greatly. I am me. <laughs> uh, I guess I could... I guess I could just... You know, start and people will join eventually. Uh, maybe if I <laughs> the Santa post I did. Oh, you mean the sent the Santa Claus on my door that burns my eye every time? Yes. Santa baby, slip and sable <laughs> under the tree. Okay, but maybe. Born. Maybe if I do something on, on this, uh, just to yeah, it work better, because I need to move the thing. Okay. okay. So, 
This is what I mean by menace to society. Okay, first. Santa baby, a 54 convertible to light blue. I think I do, but I have a bad memory. Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Okay, I'm trying to tutorial, homie. Think of all the one Think of all the boys that I think yes. I'm trying, I'm trying to tutorial. No. <laughs> That's what the tutorials are here for, anyways. No, I think we should do a tutorial on how to sing. All right, guys, follow after no. me. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Uh, yeah, apparently a menace to Ego Dragon's ears. Yeah, that's about right. I'm not good at singing. <laughs> yes, you are. Fuck you. Been an angel here. Uh, it feels awkward to, uh, to do it when there's not a lot of people talking. But I have to start at some point. Convertible too. Yeah, it is. I just did. Did YouTube not send a notification that I was live to people? Well, they sent one to me. Yes, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ask uh, one of my friends. Like, hey, I'm live. Can you please come talk? Help. Four convertible to light blue. Been an angel all year. It's a baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Think of all the fun I missed. Think of all the boys that I. I haven't guessed. Okay, because there's only two, and I guess the other people are bored. I don't know what's happening. I'm used to just see some usual people, but they're not there. Oh my god, what are these emojis? I hate that. Are you looking at the stream emojis, or...? The, the YouTube streaming emojis. Why are they like this? <laughs> I don't know, but Ego Dragon says you're Why are you there. trying to be like Twitch? I don't know. Cat in the box! I love him. I love Cat in the box. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you had trouble with your voice. Okay. Uh, I want to start, but I feel so awkward since there's only one person here. Slide to the left. Fly to the right. Crisscross. Dun, dun, crisscross. Da da cha cha na y'all. I don't even know. What cha cha again. Cha cha na y'all. Cha cha again. Uh, Turn around. My anxiety is so high right now. I'm just, my I'm starting to feel like it was a mistake. It, the amount of people doesn't matter. Just do what you do. Okay. Uh. God, I wish my anxiety would let me talk correctly. Uh, okay. Start out with like anatomy. What do you? How do you do that? <laughs> Let's. Add, I wasn't going to like talk about anatomy and stuff. I was talking about like, cause, uh, I know that I did that back then, and I know people do that sometimes, where they start drawing, but they don't do a rough sketch first. They just do. They just go directly with the character and everything details, and I'm like, that's no, that's not a good idea to start like that. Uh, I mean, that's what I do. Gracie, that's not true. You make a rough sketch. You make like a circle before you do the head and stuff. Uh, I mean, sometimes, but like, if I go off of muscle memory, 
that's different but yeah, like what, what what i mean what i mean is like you, you do a little circle here you don't just immediately go for like head shape with no circle to guide you you know what i'm saying unless you do that i, I mean i don't do that a lot <laughs> a lot <laughs> A lot. a lot. I do it sometimes. I do Anyways. it sometimes if it's like a really big project and I really, really, really want to make sure I got things right. That's fair. Okay. Um, so basically, just because when I do live streams, the the uh, the steps I take for the sketch are never shown because I am very self conscious. <laughs> so fair like, enough. So what people see is the clean sketch and then me starting the line art and then the rest. But the the sketch is not clean immediately, especially when you have a certain when you try to make poses and stuff. So what I do is first of all for where the head should be, I always do a circle. And then I do the lines and size to basically tell me where the character should be looking cuz uh they're just guidelines basically. I'm just going to make other circles to just show the difference because here the character is kind of facing down, here the character is kind of facing up, this here he's uh, almost on the side but not quite. So yeah, just lines in the circles to give you an idea of where the character is going to be looking. So it's always a circle first. And Cirque. What? Circ. Cirque, yes. And like the sketch can can be as messy as you want. Just, it doesn't have to, to make sense or be perfect or anything. It's just it's there the the rough sketch is there to give you an idea of what you want. And the advantage of being on digital is I can fix things like this. Because uh yeah, unfortunately if you drawing if you're drawing uh traditionally you'll have to erase a lot and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> What? Hold on, I'm sending it to you. What? I'm sending it to you. Okay. Okay. I just, I just got those messages. Did someone send you something on the server? What is it? How long are you in stream? I really haven't been here. I don't know. It's my friend's stream. It's okay, Ellen. It's okay. It's hello, okay. hello, Miss Lady Yes, How hello. You you're here. Hi. Also, you can tell Ellen that it's uh, it's been eighteen minutes. <laughs> it's it's been eighteen minutes already. Almost twenty. Minutes. Santa baby, God. slip the table. All right, all right, all right. Okay, back to this. So, um, rough sketch. Uh, let's say I'm gonna say I'm gonna do a feminine body. Just tend to, I tend to just. There are people who like do rectangles and stuff, but I, I kind of just don't. I just, I just make like rough shapes at first. Could be triangle. Could be just. It's rough, rough lines to just know where you want things to go. So like I said, the sketch can be as messy as you want. You can clean it up later. It's just it's just a rough sketch, you know. And here's the thing with, again with digital, I flip the image a lot. Why? Because uh, it helps you realize. Oh no, my character is about to fucking fall on their face. Okay. I never flip my canvas, guy. <laughs> uh, some people give the advice of only flipping the canvas later, but I flip it a lot just because I want to make sure. That it looks nice on both sides. So, uh, yeah, I, I do that a lot. <laughs> I never flip my canvas. <laughs> and then for for hands and arms, I just... This is where I do rectangles. The hands are just blobs at first. And then just lines. Again, guide It's just messy lines to sort of know where you go. Is it cor is it the correct arm? Not necessarily. It'll depend. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what this looks like, but it's a weird hand, but it can just be really... It could Your hand could just be spikes at this rough sketch, and it's fine. You're gonna clean it up later. Just, just like the, I never do the spine stuff. It doesn't... Like, it makes my shapes really weird. Yeah. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just go straight with the... Like, with, with what I did to the legs. There's no circle and stuff. I'm just like, bap, bap, okay, this is where I want, I want things to go. Also, the hand is too big, so I'm just gonna... Yep. But, yeah, your rough sketch could look like that, and it's fine. Because <laughs> then, af then afterwards, you can clean it up and make make it more look neat. It's just, it's just... It's always nice to have a rough base of what you want, and not go straight into immediately going details, because you might fuck up more easily. So you can fuck up uh, on, the, guys, on the rough sketch, and then you can clean it up later. Details. What? I go straight for details. I don't know. <laughs> I, again, this is not... To, 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 I, I prefer calling this, this is how I do things, and I just show how I do things, okay? What I say could work, can work for some people. Obviously, it doesn't work for Gracie right now, but... <laughs> no. You just... Is just take it with a grain of salt. I'm just trying here to show what I do, and you choose if you apply it or not. But yeah, I do rough sketch, and I clean it up after. So, so sometimes there's I there's like two rough sketches where I I draw where the head should be, and then I clean and then I clean uh, the body shape, but it's still part of. The, the rough sketch like for instance let's see uh... I'm sorry I don't talk much I don't know what to say when I'm dressed just... Santa baby <laughs> thank you Gracie for the, the tree for me that is a good girl Santa baby so that looks like a girl. With me tonight. Vanna, Vanna, Vanna. Yeah? I love you too. I'm going to guess someone walked into your room. No, my dad just yelled at me through the wall. <laughs> nice. Santa baby, flip the sable. Okay, here's what I mean the with, uh, for me. Rough sketch, but slightly cleaner. Because instead of legs being just, uh, just straight, uh, straight lines with no really shape, I mean, I so that's what my like rough sketches look like. Just their rough sketches can have multiple steps, and this is why I don't show what I do with sketches because it's the longest fucking part. But I always do a circle to place to just like. Okay, this is where the first part of a leg is, and then I start the other part with the circle. Circles are nice to help. Circles are good guidelines, okay? Circles are good gu good guidelines. And just, you know, don't right now I'm not using any references, but always use a reference when you can. References are great. Uh when you know a pose and when you know a pose enough, then I guess you can like try to do it without a reference. Uh, but I always, I honestly recommend to use uh, references when you can, where you're not sure about something, whether it's just for a hand or for the pose in general. References are there for you. For references are your friends. Always go there. Unpopular opinion: If you're practicing, please trace. Yes, actually, about that. Y tracing is okay as long as you don't post it and claim it as your own thing. That's all. Well, like, if you're taking a real-life example, that's different. Like, yeah, you're, yeah, you're directly referencing something from real life. That's something different. Yeah. But, like, if you're like, oh, I like this person's art style. I'm going to trace over it to see how they do things. Don't post that, please. <laughs> yeah, no, don't post it, but... You're allowed to do it. Just if if it's to learn how to do things, you're allowed to do that. Just don't claim it as your own. Just when I was a kid, I used to trace how all the time to try and figure out how to draw uh, Zelda from Spirit Tracks. 
And then after yeah, that, man, I traced, I traced like my own funny fan art. Oh, I traced Blaze the Cat. I traced Zelda. I traced, I traced a lot as a kid because that's how kids learn. So tracing is fine if you do it to learn, and eventually, eventually at some point, you're able to just do it on your own. Does it look as good as the picture you're tracing of? No, but. Not necessarily, but you're learning how to do it. How they do how they do the eye, how they place the things. So like just to, to begin, it's always good to trace at first if you need to. Sometimes when I use a reference, for example, for the hand, uh, like I put I cop I should probably just show and just I'm gonna go grab a reference real quick and just say an example of what I can, what we can do. That is not the reference file. Have other pe have people said anything for funny, Greasy? Because I'm I can't check the chat right now. Nothing has really been said. Someone said art has different speeds. Depends on how comfortable you are with the medium. Exactly. Yeah. Just it depends on everyone. Just we're not we're not all the same people and stuff. So, I wouldn't say you're getting art school for free by tracing. It's definitely a big step in learning how to it's trace, a big step but in art learning, school does but at you some point so you have many to more stop. helpful techniques it's than just. Point. Yeah, at some point you have to stop. <laughs> what ref when you're tracing by yourself, I don't think you're actively aware that you're uh, looking at, that you're learning to draw by seeing. Yeah. You're not. But when you go to school, that's something you really get like lessons on is how to see and how to take that and put it on a piece of paper yeah <clears throat> okay let's say I, let's say i take this uh, reference of a hand here sometimes what i'll do is i just <laughs> it's so tiny i copy paste it if i need to i change the size if I want this hand, I just kind of place it of where it's it should be. It's supposed to be on the piece. I play with the opacity, and then uh, I'm gonna hide this. Sometimes what you can do is just that's I hate when it does that. Now my pen is all messy when I do that sometimes. Is it gonna go back to not being messy? No, it's still messy. Great, 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 great. Uh, hey, Gracie, if I close it and open it again, is it gonna end the stream? Like, paint tool sigh, or? Just pen tool sigh, yeah. No, it's not gonna end the stream, but it will be dark for a bit, and I don't know if it'll reset, like, <laughs> the settings on OBS. I hope not, because... Here's the the, yeah. the trick when sometimes you copy paste a, 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 a reference picture. Sometimes pen tool side will fuck up. Now your lines are all shaky as if you didn't have a stabilizer. Ugh. Anyways, I saved uh, and I'm gonna cross my fingers. Everything go wrong right now and I hate it. Can you open again, you fuck... Santa baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. And an awful good girl, Santa baby. Is it back or it's still, is it still black? Okay, it's back. Okay, what I was trying to say... Is just do a rough, rough shape. Sometimes I do that over a reference, and then I, tr and then I have. Afterwards, I just try to clean it up on my own to make what the reference was doing. Uh, 
then I erase it. And bam, is it perfect? No, but it looks like it looks like it. And if we put it over it, it's not traced. <laughs> Anyways, this is one of the advice I have if you have a reference and you can, if you can't just try if you can't replicate it next to it, you can just doodle over it and then clean it up afterwards. That's uh that's something I do sometimes. Anyways, goodbye to him. But uh yeah, that was the that was the first part I wanted to talk about. Just very just very rough sketch, then a cleaner sketch, and then you clean it up and clean it up after the more you go, you eventually just eventually you had uh, the rest of the head, the face, the eyes, the clothes, etc. So that's the one thing I wanted to talk about because that's uh, that's something I had to uh, to show one of my friends because they had trouble understanding the, the rough sketch thing. But I uh, yeah, so that's it for that part. Uh, what else was the what else was there? Uh, how many people are in the stream right now? Why are people talking to me on Discord? Santa baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. Hands are hard, yes. Yeah, so like, if you find as many hand references as you can, and yeah, <laughs> their references are helpful. Okay, there's only four people. Okay. I'm super great at drawing hands. Like it's muscle memory at this point. I don't mean to brag. <laughs> you mean the but... cute, you mean the cute little blob fingers? The blob? What? I'm kidding. You I just I'm talking about fingers. I'm talking about your I'm talking about your chibis. I know you draw great hands. The stash chibi. You know, just tiny characters when they're tiny doodles. Also, my chibis only have circle hands now. They don't even have, like, they don't have it's fingers. It's not even blob fingers, it's just a blob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mine looks like weird sausages or spikes. It's okay, bud. Uh, okay. Um. See, now I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> you should go get something to eat, you know that? Uh, I don't want to get up. Try to manage is mean. <laughs> God, am I really going to post this dream? Cause I, I feel so awkward and I, I wasn't expecting to be this low. There's not a lot of people. Uh... I think, my, I think my anxiety is just very, very high, and I feel awkward posting it. Do it. You only live once. I guess. You only live once. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, <laughs> I'll live. Uh, I guess I could show another th one that my uh, one of my friends had trouble with, but I'm not an expert in drawing animals. Does this like if you want to draw an animal, check uh, real life references to try and understand how it works, and then you can try to simplify it eventually. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do three circles. Okay, so there's. Facing front, three, uh, four, and then on this side. So again, just going back to the lines are here to uh, show you where you're supposed to look. But uh, basically, it's just for for their character. I put like because since the they're had uh, dragonborn, I put you know a muzzle. I did. They have it big nose because dragon uh, and they try to do that but for the facing forward it didn't work so I asked do you, do you want advice and they said yes yeah, so I'm just gonna redo it again but I'm not expert on drawing animal my nose is often only when I draw ponies <laughs> almost exclusively my little pony exactly. my little pony so, ah. so, the, so like 
I'm so, I'm so, I'm since I'm used to it, I don't need to that much to put uh to do advice. But why I told my friend is, this is where we, some one could do rectangles. Just first rectangle for for the three four. Just it's not quite a rectangle, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Then a square. And then you continue. So it's a rough, so a rough, weird rectangle shape. And then afterwards you can, and afterwards you just clean it up. You gotta fault you follow the lines you did. As best you can. Box. And ta-da, you have a 3-4 nose. Basically. Uh, on the side, the nose will be a bit longer. So, again, so it's just rectangles are your friends. And then again... That's one drawing cake. <laughs> and again, you can, like, can try to clean it up and not do what I just fucking did. Draw pig is fun. <laughs> like fun the, draw pig. The, the rectangle for general shape. If you wanted the nose to be longer, you you could I could have just put it the same same place, but I didn't. But you just clean up and bam, there's the side nose. So it's not looking the same. Front nose are trickier because. When you don't know a perspective, a lot of people will try to do this for front, which, no, that's 3-4. That's not, <laughs> that's not how it works. So this time it, it's just, this time it's, it, it's, it would be this part of the rectangle, but that's the only one you kind of see. And the one on top is very, very tiny. And then I am trying to find pig. I cannot find pig. And then again, you clean it up. And then you do just a little head. And then, uh, yep, front nose. So that that would be like how I do pony noses. Kind of. Oh, no. Yeah, you just... Rectangles are your friend. They help you place things. And then you just clean it up afterwards. And it looks like that. Cute pony. <laughs> so that was the reference. So when you draw animal noses, whether it's a pony, whether it's a cat, whether it's a, a dog, you can follow the rectangles. But of course, they won't be all the same shape depending on which animal you do. Because cats don't have that kind of nose. Anyways, uh, eat this. Uh, this was the, the the animal noses reference time. Most of my dragons from the side of their muzzle look like half a slice of bread. I mean, that's the muzzle I do a lot, so I'll... same, I guess. <laughs> I am trying to find pig, but I can't find the pig. Okay, <laughs> which pig are you trying to look for? Like a. Well, I drew, okay, I drew a pig, like, an anthro pig, and I wanted to show for the sake of the argument, but I can't find it. Oh my god. I see. Um, it was around December, right? I think. I don't remember. God. No, you don't remember. <laughs> Since That's when do I remember That's anything? Enough. I take it, I take it, I take it. Hold on. <laughs> you good? I think I found it. Hold on. That's not you. That's also not you. <laughs> there you go. God. That's the other French speaker. <laughs> uh, we were four earlier and now we're just two. If I want to do the part where people ask me what they'd like to learn, this is... This is this is not gonna work. Oh. Stream mode drag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, six, six. 
Mm. Oh boy. Pig. You found the pig? Do you know I said it. Okay, I thought it was someone else. Oh, it's him. Yeah. But do you want me to show people? If you want. Okay. I was just sending it for the sake of the argument. Yeah. I'm just gonna save it and then open it. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, so it's just very cute art. Yeah. Trying to find the full image, but I guess that's not happening today. That's fine. This is a picture Gracie drew, but yeah, again, with the. If you follow line. The stream delay is really funny. Ah, oh, I found it! Again. Of course, since it's big, the nose is still more uh, round at some point, but it still follows. If you do a rectangle, it can still work, and boom, it's, and then it's another, it's a different nose. But, uh, yeah. Trapezoid. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> with, Trapezoid. With rounds. But, uh, yeah, this is the cute picture Greasy drew. Enjoy. It looks very fluffy. Okay. That was supposed to be my D and D character that we were gonna use like actually a year ago. Oh my god! But they look <laughs> very cute, though. Thank you. Pet, pet their head. Eagle Dragon agrees. <laughs> this is very cute. Okay. Well. Also, this also the rectangle thing applies um for people with bigger noses as well. It Absolutely, helps a lot. Yeah, rectangle for noses, any kind of noses, honestly. Any kind of noses, but it helps with bigger noses because you can you can do an average looking nose pretty easy because that's kind of where you start out at. Yep. Bigger noses become a big challenge down the road, but it helps a lot, especially with downturn noses. Downturn noses are cute, and you should draw them more. Thank you for your time. <laughs> uh, I just remembered another thing it could do because. Pretty sure a lot of people notice, but I have, uh, what some artists call just a same face syndrome, where the the shape of the face is just often almost the same. I almost always do that. And yeah, I mean, if you're working in the art industry, I guess ha to, that having the same face syndrome would be a problem. But if you're able to just uh, to draw in other styles, then it's fine. Uh, I personally don't mind uh, having the same face because I guess it's just how I am used to. So if someone is just like, yo, you should learn not to do the same face every fucking time, uh, you don't have to listen to them. It's just you decide. It's up to you. If you like it, then why should you listen to them? <clears throat> but the point is, is even if the the face the, the the just the cheek and the chin and stuff are often the same what will make them look different would be is the eye shape the nose and the mouth and you can have fun with that uh for instance a lot of my characters have just the classic pointy nose that i do but your your character could have another kind of nose like like this. Boom, suddenly it's not the same not the same thing anymore. See? You can have, you can just have fun with trying different shapes, this but keep the same uh, face shape. You just you just try a different nose. It's not the same vibe anymore. Um same for eyes. Cuz let's see. Uh there's the round, happy, bubbly eyes like this. Which is what's like, look happy, but... Or you can go for more... Sharp, or in triangle. It's not, it's not the same. See? Gives a different vibe. Ooh-woo. <laughs> Ooh-woo. See? It's just, it's okay to have the same face shape. It's just 
it's if it would be a problem if all the eye shape of every single one of your characters would be the same if they look the same sometimes it looks sometimes it look well i i say problem but not really because like the hair then the hair and the clothes will make a difference and that's fine it's just uh just it's okay it's okay to just try different shapes and sometimes sometimes a shape could look very very similar like if i do another hey like yeah I, I could do another big eye but this one's slightly sharper I think with face shapes, too, you should uh, play around with circles a lot on your face. Like, just kind of add them around where the chin and the cheeks are and kind of see where it works for you. Because some people have much rounder face shapes yeah. or just much chunkier chunky. face shapes, which are cute. We love chunky people. They're very nice. Fat people are awesome. They are so um, chunkable and I love them very much. Yes. Uh, but just pull, just kind of like glue circles onto them and draw around them and see how, what kind of face shapes you get because that really helps you a lot. We like to be inclusive. Behold. Oh. Good job, your face. Yeah. So yeah, Grace's advice is a good idea, actually. If you want to explore some faces, just make circles a different shape for the cheeks and the chin. Inclusivity is sexy, and we use it, <laughs> folks. Yeah. We're not gonna use the. We're not gonna use this skin tone or this this face shape or this body type does not work well in my art style. We don't use that. That's not great. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, I know that I myself has often the same face shape, and to the people who also have this same face syndrome, uh, it's okay. If you want to change it, that's up to you. If you don't, that's also up to you. It's just you you don't have to feel ashamed for having the same face shape every time. You can still try and explore, like with using Gracie's advice with the the circles and stuff, or just uh, look at other art styles and see what they do. And yeah. But you just have fun with you can have fun exploring a face shape. Have fun exploring noses. I know I I know I keep a lot with my comfortable zone with the same uh, noses. So it's often the eye shape that changes, and then the hair and everything else that gives you know. Oh, like oh yeah, these two characters are not the same, basically. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell oh, hello, Galaxy Cat. You missed. You actually missed the part where I, I, uh, I talked about that. Actually. Uh. The uh the 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 animal nose. I did that earlier. Actually. Uh. I don't know how much earlier it was. I think it was uh. Around fifteen minutes ago, I think. The Probably about ten. Ten, five to ten, give or take, where you want to come into the conversation. Is okay. Uh, if you want to, so if you want to check that part, you can like go back to it. Fifteen minutes ago, just see what 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 was what were the advices we had for this, uh, and then come back later if you want to. If not, you can uh, stay until the end and then try to go back and try to find where it was back then. Uh, yeah. What else could we talk about? No, no, it's okay. We are all we are all artists here, and we just draw. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, I just came across a good face shape oh. that I did. Oh yeah. You you want me to send it to you? Sure. I'm gonna show people. <laughs> Who and where are you? There you are. <laughs> Hi, I'm the dark. I'm the darkness. And it's you. even better because it's traditional. <laughs> Look at you go. Hello. Also, it's the girl. It is. It's Ari. I love her. Everybody love her in this house. Hi, welcome back. Uh, we were talking about face shapes, and uh, Gracie had the, the uh, do circles for cheek and chin, and then just explore what kind of face shape it's going to give you. 
And she sent me a, a face shape earlier, told, where are you? Boop. Also, it's traditional. Look at how fucking talented my sister is. Uh, it was more of me experimenting. So I, but I, I, I was looks really pretty. I'm more but here the we hair see... than anything. No, I like it. But here we see a different head shape, which is very much rounder, just round, round. And it's nice. It's cute. I like it. It's just different head shapes. So yeah. This was another her example. Nose, and then her nose is kind of flat too, which I didn't really want, but that's another thing you kind of have to deal with as an artist. Is you have to. You experiment. Sometimes it works. Sometimes want. it doesn't. But it's okay. Yeah. You just learn. You always learn. Also, I really like how you how did the hair. <laughs> I know the hair is what I was proud of the most. It's it's so fucking pretty, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Round boy. Yes. Ooh. People are complimenting your art as they should. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, hmm. I, I guess I could be at the part where ask me what you'd like for me to show you. Because I know... I know Dragon, uh, not you, Ego, but okay. I know, I'm pretty sure you told me how to call you, but I keep forgetting because I'm bad at names. Please remind me how I'm supposed to call you. But I know there was someone who wanted uh, me to show them how to draw hair, but they're not in the stream right now, so I'm sad about it. Uh,. So, hair, is, hair is an entirely different monster yeah because there are a lot of different hairstyles and stuff so i i kind of just there's a lot of different hairstyles and there's a lot of different hair types too that especially too when it's like it's uh, uh it's a whole TV. fucking can of worms <laughs> It, it's it's especially when you start getting into black people hair and uh, like mexican latina latino yeah, kind of no, hair yes. they have different like they have different hair types it's different hair it's mm -hmm. not Yes, so it's... hair is very hard sometimes to so just for the if you want to try if you so if you want to try a hairstyle which you're really not used to, go find a real life reference to help you, because I will not be able to. <laughs> go find a real life reference and draw shapes. Don't draw what you see. Draw the shapes and what you see. Uh, that helps a lot with constructing uh, a solid foundation of what you think the hair looks like in your head, and it really helps. Yeah, the, I know that sometimes my my hair uh, my hair is often you know it's I rarely do curly hair, so it's often just fluff, floof. So I so what I do is I tend to just imagine it in my head, and I try to replicate it, but it's really trial and error most of the time. So so. You, Dad, I don't have much of advice. It's just I, I could just give an example on how I could sketch some hair, and because uh, there with are some curly just... hair, with curly hair, you're gonna see like a lot of uh, circles, mostly just because it is curly hair. But you're also gonna see a lot of rectangles, and that's very important. I'm not. You're. I've, you've drawn more curly hair than I did, so I don't think I'm gonna. <laughs> try to do the, the rectangle thing you're talking about well that's mostly with ringlets like if you're drawing ringlets and then also if you're like drawing dreads oh yeah okay yeah also you're currently drawing a death god with socks <laughs> let them wear socks it's okay it's not good if they have socks on anyways <laughs> Let's see, uh, to yeah. the few people who are in there, yeah. or is there something specific you'd like me to show? Like, because right now I've only been in the sketches part, but if you have questions about line art, or how to color, or how to place the layers, uh, yeah, uh, you can ask. I know there's not a lot of people, but still. Yeah. It's so silent. Shadows? Oh, shading? Uh, you want shading advices? 
<clears throat> Shading advice. Don't be afraid. <laughs> listen, listen, you are going to be afraid. You are going to look along the planes of your drawing and you're going to be like, oh God, where do I even start? Don't be afraid. If you see creases, put shadows there. If you see, if you see like, something that's gonna have a lot of shadow and it doesn't look good at first when you put all this shadow there don't be afraid keep it there trust the process you you're okay. gonna see shadow to, and a to, lot of to, things okay, where to, you to don't help? want to see shadow okay, and to, you're gonna have to deal with it <laughs> okay to help a bit with that advice since you also said hair um i'm just gonna do, draw a random hair on this uh, on this sketch over here so as you can see from my hair, it's just it's often just a bunch of lines of rectangle. Well, I'm not saying like put shadow everywhere. Uh, part you know, of the, part to, of you, art. It's important that you have a. Uh, where's the light coming from, basically? Yeah, where's the light coming from? But that's uh, that's what I was about to say. It goes into more along with lighting. You're gonna have to take a lot of real life uh, references with that, and yeah, you're I also gonna have I to myself, you're also I'm gonna actually, have to trust your gut. You're also gonna have to trust your gut, which is gonna feel wrong a lot of the times. So oh, you're absolutely! Going to have oh, to. God! <laughs> yes. Uh, just gonna I'm just gonna finish a quick sketch here. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna give her a face. It, it's fine. She doesn't need a face. Who needs a face in, anymore? In Let's see, I'm the queen of lighting. Where is some cool lighting that I have? Okay. I myself have a lot of shading references, but even then, I know that uh, my shading process, uh, the way I do my shading, some I, I'm sure that sometimes it's not right. It looks right, but maybe it's not, and I don't know, but it's fine. <laughs> Just, if you want to be super as, as super accurate as possible, then yeah, you study it a lot. But otherwise, you know, it's not the end of the world if it's not perfect. But okay, so for this, I'll I'll need. It's gonna actually it's gonna be just tied bucket tool. Thank you. Play with the opacity because I need a base color. Okay. So, you need before shading. You need to. <laughs> Hi, you just sent. I'm gonna. Sh you just yeah, sent I'm, sent I'm sending me. a few things. Uh, if you want to take any examples, I, I feel like having existing stuff to look at would help with shading. Yeah, I'll do that after. Yeah. Oh, uh, this hair is beautiful. Thank you. It's very sketchy, but thank you. Currently drawing for live 2D animation, starting to focus on the stream and my drawing. It's okay. If I'm too distracting for you to work, you can, you can, you can, you can focus on your thing. Anyways, like I said, just you need to first decide where the light is coming from. Is it is the light coming from here, from here, from here, or from the bottom? You have to decide first. Once you do, that's when uh, you'll do the shading based on where the light is coming there are there are there are artists who start with the highlights before the shading i start, I, I, myself, yeah, I myself start with the shading and just add the lighting afterwards everybody's different it's really depend on which one you really prefer uh, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna give her an eye shape real quick I usually don't do this for eyes. <laughs> you want to just a quick advice for the other eye when you're digital? It's called copy paste it. Yeah. It's called copy. It's it's. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't you know, for me. At least. It's but... called it's called copy paste it and transform it <laughs> like that. But it's you always often, worth a you shot. You don't see me do that in sketch. Do you see me do that in line art so to make it fit? But yeah, you just transform it and blah blah. blah. Just I is it perfect? Absolutely not. And then I just flip the image, try and fix it a bit, and voila, two eyes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I sent you four examples. I hope that's enough. <laughs> I'm sure that's more than enough. I just I just wanted to make some eye shape 
to help. Uh... I think the last one's going to be the best one to show for lighting, but. Perfect. I'll, I'll show that later just to show an example. Okay. Cause I needed, I needed a, I needed a face sort of. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a messy face. I would not call this a clean sketch, but it's fine. We're not here for the sketch. We're here for, light, for lighting and shadow. Okay. So let's say let's we'll start with let's say uh let's the I can't speak. Whenever I draw something you probably noticed a lot, my light source often comes from here diagonally. So uh So let's say, let's say I start with the highlights this time. It means it will look much lighter towards this part. Even on the hair. Just since the light's coming from there, the the well the light source on the, the character is gonna look more like this. It's gonna be towards the same side. See what I mean? Sometimes what I do, I, I just because I like to have little highlights everywhere, I add some on the other side, regardless if it's supposed to be there or not. But yeah, this would be the highlights, and then uh, while the shadows would be on the other side, the shading. So it's on the up. It's basically opposite to each other. I don't know how else to explain. I just. Uh, this part I just don't know how well to how, how to explain it with words. I just, just I do do it as the feeling. Just the, the shadow is gonna fall is gonna be on the opposite of the the arrow. The hair is more shading here because it's behind, so it's a bit more hidden. When the hair is behind like this, it's oft it often has much more shading. But yeah, that's a that's a messy example. Uh, yeah. But that would be an example from when the from <laughs> where the lighting comes from this side. Um, I'm just going to close these real quick. Alright. Gracie sent me examples of Archie made with the... I think the last one's going to be really great for lighting. Yeah. Oh, hi, Wilbur. <laughs> I'll show Gracie's... I'll show, I'll show Gracie's... I'll show Gracie's art and then I'll show like, because I have references in my files that would be much easier to show what I'm talking about since I I don't have confidence in my shading is perfect because nothing is, but you know, you know what I mean? Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Everybody makes a stay. Everybody has to stay. God. Yeah, I'll okay. How to pick color skin? I'll do that. I uh, after because I have something called the, the flesh cloud <laughs> that someone else. Oh, skin color is yeah. hard. Yeah, I'll do that after. Uh, <clears throat> right now, we're still in shading things. Yeah. Okay. So there's this one. There's this one. There's this one. I'm gonna open them, and so here is an art for Gracie. Since there's fire everywhere, obviously the light source is gonna come from everywhere. <laughs> yeah, a bit. Well, mostly down. So we can see that the light lighting is well. You can see I sort of where the shading is. 
there's a lot of lighting source. This man is on fire, by the way. <laughs> this man is just on yeah, fire. He's on fire. He's an arsonist. It's fine. You know, here, uh, here we can tell the lighting comes from here. Therefore, the shading is going to be on this side. It's very simple for this one. It's just, it's just easy to tell where the shading comes from. That's what I'm going to do. Now, here's the one that Gracie said would help a lot for lighting, because the light source obviously comes from the hand. So you have to follow where it is. So there's not a lot of shading in the hand because the light source is right there. But then there's different types of shadows. The more since the light, it's going to be lighter over here. And then the more it goes, the more it goes darker away from the light source. So when the light, when the light comes directly from here, uh, the shadow on the face will be, there is, there will be much more shadows on the face with just a little triangle of light on the cheek because the cheek isn't flat. That's the only way I can explain this. But yeah. Yeah. And I know there, I know there are some art I have where, uh, I think there are some people who's like, I, I need to remember the, th the trick of, uh, actually I'm going to do the, do it here. Goodbye shadow, goodbye highlights of, I just, I select everything and then I, and then I shade everything and then I erase some parts. That's because when I, whenever I do that, I need to do that. It's because the light source is from behind. Oh yeah, I did that with uh with moon, with moon. E, I'm gonna go grab moon real quick. Actually, I could drag my I could drag my art of moon as well. I end up doing that a lot. I have a lot of pieces that I do that with. Oh, that would be a good one if I could find it. If I could find it. There's, if I could find it. There's three of them, buddy. So here with Moon, uh, you see the light source is directly from behind her, so all the sh so all the shadow will is over with a few with a few strings of lights from behind. Gracie did the same. The shadows are very heavy on the front, but a bit more but a bit lighter towards the corners over here. Same with Sun Goddess. Um, Where is it? Which one are you looking for? <laughs> Something you don't have. <laughs> okay. Ah, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. Life is great. Life is great. Life is great. I let's found go, it. Let's go. Okay. I'm just gonna go grab the re the light references I have, so you can sh to show more difference, different 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 light sources, uh, directly from people who know better than I do. Yeah. Uh, where's my fucking references file? There it is. Okay. Uh, I have. Please don't be hidden. Please don't be hidden. I need. Okay, add this one. Hold on. Life hates me. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> Everybody has God, those days. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Okay. Also, if anybody's like, how do you draw landscapes? I'm going to kill you. Oh my God, no. Don't oh, ask me oh, that. Like, I have some examples that I can show, but also I will pull out a gun. Yeah. I have a few references. So, on, so on the side, so basically on the side, the light, when the, the lighting comes from the side, the shading should look something like that when it's below like that. L top angle, which is the lighting I often have. R top angle, the other side. From behind, like I said, a lot of shadows and just a few lights coming from behind. And then, then a lower angle, same thing. When it comes Galaxy to... Cat, your days are numbered. Oh, this one. There it is. Uh, who said your days are numbered? Galaxy Cat, they asked how you draw landscapes. Hold on. Uh, okay. Here's the face again. On the face, this is one I used a lot when I needed to. 
Well, if the light comes from this side, the shadow on the face should look something like that. Just a bit of light on the cheek, but something else. If it comes directly from over, then there's going to be a shading over the eyes because, again, the cheeks aren't flat. They're a bit more, uh, more forward than the rest of the face, so there's going to be shading here. Uh, but it's going to be light on the nose and a bit of cheek and a bit of the chin. Here it's the up the the other side. So instead instead of the shading the shadow being on this side of the face, just on the other side. Now when it's directly on the side, one side is going to be lighter, while the other side is almost completely in darkness. From behind, she looks like she's about to fucking murder you in your sleep. <laughs> I often use the behind for creepy or for just when the moon is behind. And then same thing the other side. If it's come this side, the shading will be on the opposite side. And now from below, this is often with the creepy drawings again where she's gonna murder you when you sleep. <laughs> the When the light source comes from below, it's often for creepy drawings, at least for me. Because there will be much more shading on the face a bit all over the place. Especially this one. I've used this one a lot for creepy drawings with the light source coming directly from below instead of the other side. Another reference with the lighting, the shading stuff. So yeah, there's plenty, plenty of references for shading. Don't be afraid to check them out uh, if you need to. I just sent one more. You don't have to show it, but I did send one more. Yeah, I noticed. There's like, oh, this one, which is really cute. Yeah. <laughs> but our backgrounds don't know them. Okay. Uh, the how to draw body was actually the first thing I did with the rough sketch. <laughs> it's at the start of the stream. Well, maybe not directly at the start because there was a lot of there was like five minutes of awkward moment, but it's the first uh, it's the first thing I did uh, the uh, how to draw body with the rough sketch to help first. Okay, that's not what I needed to open. Can you close? Thank you. All right. Uh, I'll probably give more uh, more life to this uh, to this poor character. Before I go to the skin, skin thing. Oh, skin's so much fun. Just, just you, you just have fun exploring stuff, dude. Currently looking for landscapes in preparation. I'm not gonna do the landscapes, okay, people. I am a character. I draw characters. I hate back drawing backgrounds. Gracie's better at this than I am. Uh, saying something. What? I said that's saying something. Uh, still, you make very good backgrounds, and I, I don't like mine. I I can give a little advice on it if you show a few, but past that, I can't really do much because I'm not really interacting with the stream. No, I just uh, I. I'm willing to do tutorials, but this is one I'm not willing to do because when I'm when I myself am still struggling with landscapes. Uh, flash cut, flash cut, flash cut. <laughs> okay, there's two choices. Either because there are a lot of people where uh, I don't know if you can see the circle here, but my skin tends to just go towards this part. There's a lot of people who are stuck with the white, tan, and dark. Uh, so someone. Uh, if I could, if I could find it, where is the flesh cloud? In which file have I put the flesh cloud? Uh, the fl I was at, I was like, what is the flesh cloud? And then I remembered what you're probably talking and about. Then you remembered. Is it in front of you? Where is the one I did? That's like a really good example of landscapes. I did finish it too. There it is. Hold on, when you forget when you put things in your files. Oh, there's Flesh Cloud. I, I got this from a Tumblr post where someone just, just, it's not the prettiest, but here's a little chart I made of skin tones. The idea is to eyedrop anywhere on the chart to get a unique skin tone instead of getting stuck in the loop of white, tan, dark. <laughs> Useful. Flesh Cloud eager to assist your art. All hail the mighty Flesh Cloud. So yeah, sometimes I do when I don't know I kind of use that so you can just uh, eye drop on it. It's not perfect, but there's a lot of different skin tones you could use. You just eye drop on it, then you can just play with it. 
Yeah, with skin tones, especially today and today's media, you want to be careful. Um, yeah. When you're picking your flesh tones from scratch, like you're not picking, like you're creating a character and you're not taking flesh tones from anybody. You can use anywhere from like the hot pink dial to like the yellow dial yeah, in reference you, you just to skin have fun tone. Over, you just have fun over and there. He, like any of that anywhere on that scale is fine. You probably don't want to make it too oversaturated or saturated, yeah. but that's that's where that's what you'll want to do. Uh that's where you'll want to look. And then depending if you're making like coded characters like a Mexican coded character or like an Asian coded character, you'll definitely want to take references and look yeah, at no, when it, when you have specific, when you want to make skin tone. Yeah, why don't we specifically make a character of an of a specific ethnicity? go look for references to find the correct uh and then i've 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 witnessed the uh great uh cookie run disaster of 2021 and 2022 i don't know what it is and i'm scared to ask well cookie run cookie run's like a nice game it's you have different colored cookie run i'm talking about the drama you know You have different colored cookies that are like a bunch of different colors. So obviously you want to draw them as humans, but a lot of people whitewash them because they didn't take into account like the skin tones or how light or dark they are. So if you have a different skin tone, uh, color pick it and then don't move, don't move the little circle in the middle uh, of the screen. You you don't basically don't move this thing. You move this. Yeah, don't move, don't move the don't move it don't towards move the, the white or the black. Don't, don't move the like, circle in the square. Move the circle in the in the circle. Well, yeah, move the color wheel. Don't move the saturation, the hue, anything like that. Just move it. Move your circle wheel. Yeah, like let's say let's say I uh, I drop I drop uh, this. Yeah, that. And let's and if it looks like so that. if they have a green skin tone, make sure you get the same green, and then just move it over. You'll get the same uh, light dark. Yeah, let's say I uh, move it yeah. a bit more towards the red. Of course, and this- don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to uh, don't be afraid to go really dark on some skin tones yeah. because there are people with really dark skin tones, and they are gorgeous can i just say mm-hmm. like i just eye drop it and da da i this is where i realize i colored i colored wrong over here but you know just for skin tones just when you create a character you can just have fun with whatever color you want but if you want a specific ethnicity go look for references <laughs> i drop the color and only play with this part don't play with this Yep. Okay. We good? I just discovered how to select spaces and procreate. <laughs> I'm glad you discovered this, bud. All right. Uh, anyone else had any uh, questions of how to color things or how to do things? Because I'm still in this. Because right now I haven't shown anything about line art, so I don't know if people are uh, wondering about that. I did send a few landscapes if you want me to say something about them. Yeah, I guess in the meantime I could do that. I, and I added eyes because it felt sad she didn't have eyes. It felt sad. One of them's a work in progress, as you can tell. But Hold on, I just need to save them first. <laughs> yeah, you're all good. Again, fuck you. Your, your landscapes are great. Especially the last one. Oh, the last one took so long. Oh, I fucking can tell, homie. The last one, I'm so tired. I finished that in June for a zine. Zine, 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 zine. Also, I have stream delay, so if you pull one up, give me half a second to, like, look at it. Yeah, I know, I know, there's a lag. No, it's just stream delay, it's not really a lag, it's just stream delay. Stream delay is a bitch. Yeah. Coloring eyes? Yep, 
I'll uh, I'll show that after Gracie. It's Gracie's time to show some landscapes because why not? You oh open God. this can oh. of worm, now lie in it. There's this. Uh, there's 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 uh, there's this this this. Watching the screen fervently. Right now I'm in the work in progress one. Uh, is that the first one we're doing? Is the work in progress? I guess. I mean, okay. it still looks nice and neat. <laughs> well, I mean, the work in progress one, I haven't finished. Also, oh, that's the bad one. Okay, so, like, there's a good example of that one, but it's better now. So that table is supposed to be higher. Yeah, um, the, I was looking at those, like, the table is funky. <laughs> yeah, the ta table's supposed to be higher, but I fixed that. I did fix that a while ago. Okay. Um, So that, with this one, um, with, like, insides and stuff, uh, insides are the best way to develop that skill because you only have to work with geometric shapes yeah rectangles um, you, so. you only have to work with squares rectangles uh maybe circles like, sometimes but well circles circles are pretty easy because circles are just bigger or smaller depending on where they are in the picture and what the item is yeah so circles are really easy but um like with with uh, with uh, inside most things are squares most things are squares and it's going to be really easy to like look at your room and measure with your eyes what you're seeing and then put it down on a piece of paper so um, inside inside of a room is a good start inside of a room is a good start and especially a room that you're familiar with so you know what looks wrong and lo what looks right yep uh, okay are we on a different one now Trees. Look trees how fucking are cute they are. Which one? What? The, is it sun? Is that the one that we're doing? I said... Yeah? Are you, can you not see it? Anyways, you... There we go. Cute. Well, I can, but like, it takes like half a minute for it to pop up. Anyways, that one. Uh, if, you're going, if you're going with nature, uh, nature's probably going to be your best friend after you learn the basics with Rectangle Heaven. Um, nature is all organic shapes. There are no rules with nature. Uh, you can pretty much put anything in there and it'll look like something. Yep. It will look like something. So like you, that um, very tall twig tree over here. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, it still looks so cute you can just put things in a space and expect it to work well. Um, the thing with nature though is, I mean... In, in any piece, but especially nature, you're going to have a foreground and a background, and you need to pay a lot of attention with that. Yeah. Um, especially when you put into play focus and what your main focus is of the piece. For those who, uh, know, what your eye for, for those who don't know, uh, front, I already forgot the fucking words. Can you repeat them? So foreground and background. Foreground is going to be what's in front, and the background is going to be what's in the back. So the and then your mid-ground the is foreground here are these bushes, the then there's the characters, then there, there's the first row of trees, the second row of trees, and then more stuff in the background. Yeah. Um, yeah, you have your foreground, your mid-ground, and your background. Your mid-ground is typically what's going to be, like, the main focus of your piece, what you want people to see. Yeah, so the characters. Um, but that will different that that'll vary especially if you become a landscape artist sometimes what's going on in the background is what you're going to want people to see or something that's going on in the foreground is what you're going to want people to see but midground is typically a good place to start for like things happening i know sometimes there are people like to make sure the, that people see what they want to see the uh foreground stuff will be blurred or background stuff will be blurred, so we I will focus more on what's clean, and then we'll eventually just look at what's blurry. Yeah. So as you can see with this piece, uh, the characters in the midground are lined, and they have lines that define like the what uh, they have lines that define where they are in this space. Uh, but the background and the foreground both are lineless. They don't have any lines. It's just kind of like a painted storybook vibe. So you're focusing more on what's drawing focus than what isn't yeah next one 
Sure. I don't know what the next one is. Uh, the next one is uh, the one that took fucking long and hurt your hand. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I did this one for a zine. Can everyone hear, like, Gracie, how fucking talented she is? Because, fuck. <laughs> I did this one for a zine. Uh, God. There are, there are words here, and I didn't do a good job of keeping them in the focus, but I think I did a great job with it. Um, it's so pretty. Uh, with some pieces, it's going to be really hard to tell what's in the foreground, the midground, and the background. In this case, I focus m- more so on the foreground. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, with nature, um, that a lot of a lot of nature, you're not going to have to worry about like rectangles, shapes. Yeah. Um, you you just kind of let your hand go and see what you get. And sometimes there are so many details that your eye will wander a bit everywhere trying to take it all in. <laughs> Exactly. That's a good thing with art. You get to pick and choose how much detail you want to put in and how much you don't want to. Yep. And if you do want to put in a lot of detail, you still need to maintain that point of focus. You need to really draw the line at like what you want people to see and what you don't want people to see. So a good way with that is lighting. Uh, lighting and contrast definitely uh, put, puts your eye somewhere as opposed to another place. Mm-hmm. So the, in this case, there's a lot of things glowing, and I want to make sure there are a lot sure of glowy that. things, and my eyes just going burr. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, so usually, what's brightest is what draws the eye the most, and that's usually going to be in the foreground or the midground. Yeah. And then the last one is a sketchy sketch. A sketchy sketch. Sundial. Oh, is that the sundial? It is the sundial. So this is a quick thing I'm doing for an animatic. Um, it's and it's so sketchy, but it still looks fucking great. And this is another example of why tracing references is so important. <laughs> I traced all of this. Uh, but I don't fucking blame you, homie. All the shapes are like so organic. Yeah, uh, all the shapes are so organic, you can't really tell. You could probably, uh, you could probably find it on Google somewhere, and you could be like, "Oh, that's probably what she used." Yeah. But um, just don't. don't but really do for that. the most part, uh, for the most part, all of this uh, was from my own hand. I didn't like completely like rip off the the picture that I used, and of course, the sundial wasn't there. Yeah, no. Um, before. But I I did put it there myself, and I think I think this piece is a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing that. I'm glad you and had you fun because it, it looks will cool. Change, I like it a lot. I think another thing with your uh uh with backgrounds, this one doesn't have one, but you need to figure out where your line of horizon is, which uh, is basically right. where is the horizon. If I go back to the simple one, uh. Obviously, this one is there's only one there's the one point, and all the lines converge towards that same point. Yes. But when with nature, it's a bit hard to to see that to see that one. With nature, you definitely have more organic, and the horizon is definitely just gonna be like where you see the horizon and the main like that's that's the natural main focus point when you're looking anywhere the line of horizon is where your eye is going to immediately go on this piece we i can actually tell that there's two points because yeah yeah. there's there's lines that are followed toward that towards on the left then here's the middle and then it goes towards the right yeah, because it was a sign and it was a two pager (laughs) (laughs) So that was that was the landscape moment with Gracie. Yeah. I feel like I was leading a college class there. That was great. <laughs> great. Okay. So I know someone asked to uh for I co- uh, to call how I color eyes. At least I'm just going to show how I do it cuz there are plenty of ways to, to to color and just eyes, but I'm gonna go with the basic one I usually do, uh, but for that first, I'm gonna line uh, an eye. It'll help more. Sweet. So I'm just gonna just the line art. I often use the pen tool, and it's always either on seven or eight for some nice, nice lines. These look smooth. 
So I'm just gonna line the eye real quick and then I'll color it. Uh, if you want a specific color, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm just gonna choose. So, uh, yeah. Just tell me. Different different color eyes call for different colors, different colors in general. I think. Yeah. Just... Especially when you're coloring, like. There's so Dude, many different ways. I to... eye color is a lot harder than you think. Yeah, there's just so many ways to color an eye or how yeah. much details you want to put it. This is just there's no simple answer. That's why that's why that's why I don't like it calling tutorial. It's more just that's how I do things, but someone else does things differently, like Gracie. Jeez, are you requesting yellow eyes? Wait. I, whenever I do yellow, it al always ends up being more golden than yellow. Did some the when I when I do yellow, it yellow is a little weird. Yeah, I tend to play with oranges and the yellows. Yeah, because it's prettier like that. Is the color chosen really yellow? I just need to know for. Uh... I don't know. Someone just said cheese. So. <laughs> It's just cheese now. I would like my stylist to stop trying to leave this world. But yeah, when the line is just, it makes some smooth lines when the when the with the pen tool at eight, it's great. That's what I recommend when you do line art, buds. And you see live that when I want to color something, since uh, all my lines are connected, I can use the select tool. Because, my lines are never connected. <laughs> yeah, because there are artists who don't connect the lines, so it's all like, it's as if it was the sketch, sort of, the way they do the lines. So they, all, so they color it with hand, they don't select things and color it, they just color it themselves. And god, it feels like it takes a while. <laughs> I know I've done that before. Anyways. Uh, I would like my line to work with me. Fuck you. Thank you. Okay. So what was the color chosen, boys? I have ch <laughs> Okay, fine. I guess it's gonna be yellow. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. What's your guys' favorite kind of cheese? Mine is mozzarella. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like mozzarella. It's just I can't, because there are there are people who just eat it like that and not on pizzas, and I can't just eat it like that. It has to be on something. Oh, I would eat so much cheese. <laughs> cheese lover, we have a cheese lover in the chat, boys. But I'm plain I'm pretty sure cheese is great. You know. I'm gonna do golden, so what I I'm just gonna do an example of just the color, because when I draw eye, there's always the main color, then a dark, then a, a darker color for um for gradient. Whoever said cheddar, you're wrong. And the high and the lighter color, it can only be. Three you're really gonna sleep on mozzarella like that. Color. There Cheddar can, is mid. Yeah, there can be more shading color and more highlights. It just, it really depends on you. But eyes will have different colors, the different gradients of the same thing. And sometimes if we, take, if we take what? IRL uh, eyes, I mean, there's sometimes there's people with blue, with uh, blue eyes who has some like uh, brown, some brown or uh, orange around the iris. So. An eye can really look how you want. Just it really depends on how, what kind of colors you want to do, what, how many. If you do you want do. an easy way of coloring, like single color eyes, this doesn't include heterochromia or like hazel eyes or anything that has like different colors in it. Mm -hmm. You can just specialize in one color eye, so you can go with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Uh, you can specialize in one kind and then just slide it. Just Slide uh, it. Modify your colors. Yeah, I'll show that with the hue saturation after. So, the main color. Also, just a fun fact: when when you do a line art and you color, 
the color every single layers with colors have to has to be under the line art why because if not it'll look like that it's bad <laughs> Stay i up. haven't seen it yet <laughs> <laughs> you'll see it eventually just the co every color layer is under the line art even the shading sometimes i put I put the shading layer and all my colored layer under the line art, and then my highlights are all over the line art. Anyways, back to coloring eye. So I color the so what I do is I color the full eye with the main color. Then I pick a, a first darker color. I uh, open another layer, and I make a gradient with it. Uh, when you uh, yellow is tricky because when you want to make when you when you work with yellow don't go towards the green unless the eyes more green or stuff when you shade yellow don't go with the darker yellow because it looks green it's just it looks prettier for with yellow to have more orange shading i don't know if i make sense this is i've seen i've seen uh yellow with green shading and honestly it's gorgeous yeah it's pretty it can be pretty but what, you should only the experiment with colors, but make sure you master a bunch of colors before you start throwing them in. Yeah, because I, I myself, whenever I draw yellow eyes, I tend to just make them more golden looking. I'm sure I could try the, the like, the, the greener, and it would still look pretty. It's just, I'm not used to it, you know? A good rule of thumb with, uh, a good rule of thumb with eyes is when when you have your full color like when you have your base color like say you want blue if you want blue uh you're gonna to make it to make the eye color a little darker to do the shading or the pupil or like the top of the eye to make it darker you're gonna want to go you want to go towards red don't don't like go too red but like if you're doing blue go to purple and then go a little bit kind of greener for the highlights and if you're doing green, go towards red and go to blue to color um, to make the green darker, and then go towards yellow to make the highlights. That's what I do with my eyes. I should probably just color different eyes. Just we're starting with yellow today. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what I do? So what I do when it comes to eyes? Just I do then another darker color, and then I play with the opacity a bit. So it's never gonna be the exact same. And. And then I add the pupil. I uh, so add the pupil, and the pupil is never, at least the way I do it, the pupil is never gonna be pure black. the The only things that pure that is pure black is pro, is the line art. But whenever I do a pupil, it's it's a dark color, but it's never pure black. I don't do pure black either, but there are a lot of people that can make pure black work. So if you're one of those people that like pure black, go ahead and experiment with it. Yeah, have fun. Then I use the same color as the pupil and play on the same layer and I just play with the opacity again with it, just barely. Then something I do, uh, if it's yellow, uh, I don't move this part yet. I uh, I just go on a lighter color here, and one of the things I started doing is this little thing here. I open another layer, and I do just a little line. Now it's an, it's another kind of pen tool. So uh, there's the there's pen two, and then there's the first pen. The first pen is a bit weird like that. So you just preserve opacity, and you you color over it, so it's the correct color <laughs> but yeah with a very uh it's the pff, how don't i speak the little lines here are, are much uh paler color than the main color and sometimes i can play with it to make it a bit darker towards the bit since it's darker here i play with the, the opacity again yep Then uh, for highlights, I go slightly to since it's yellow, I go slightly more towards yellow green for highlights. 
I do I, I kind of blur it I play with the opacity again and sometimes I do it twice with the even paler Boop. and sometimes if I'm still not sure sometimes it's always nice to play with the contrast it makes everything like pops a bit more so that would be how I do a yellow eye and the thing Gracie talked earlier is sometimes when you specialize in one color but you want a different color you go to hue and saturation and you play with the hue and it changes colors. Yeah. It's it doesn't it's al more it doesn't color always color. work out. It doesn't always work yeah. out, but sometimes it does and it's pretty. Yeah, sometimes it works out. It it's mostly for color correction, so don't use it a lot and depend on it, but it is another yeah, tactic. Sometimes I'm just like, nah, it's problems. too yellow. I want a bit more orange. I can go towards this way and I'm like, oh cool, now it's good. Or on the other side, if I want a bit more okay. green. Okay. So that was how to do yellow. Um, I know I earlier I saw... With the blue main color, purple show the green highlights. These look cool. Thank you. All right. I know Galaxy Cat said blue or gray. Uh, do you want me to try the blue eyes? It's going to be different than the yellow. It's, uh, it's There's different ways of colors, of coloring eyes. Sometimes you can't even combine two colors to make the main color. I'm gonna go with blue. Uh, I'm gonna go with a lighter blue, like as if I, as if I was coloring the the way I color my eyes. So I pick this blue right there, just a pale sort, of basic pale blue. Then for the shading, to explain what Gracie was talking about, you see the circle is over here, right between dark blue and the cyan colors. But uh, for, the sh for the shading, you'll go towards the dark blue or even purple. And then I go for a darker color. In professionalism, it's called red shifting. Uh, it's shifting a color towards a, like, a warmer color. It's called red shifting. But we don't call it that. We just... just... Go towards the red. That's Go towards the red, but it's fine. I again, I play with the opacity, and I can I can go even more towards the purple and make it a bit darker again, and play with the opacity. Sometimes I like to do that. I like gradient. And then again, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add the pupil. So it's the same, if I do the same eyes I did earlier, it's basically the same steps. It's just, again, you use different colors. Now, for the highlights, when I go, I go back to this, for the highlights, I go slightly towards the cyan colors. Which yeah. is called blue shifting, but we also don't call it that. <laughs> I, I don't know all those fucking words, okay, homie? Usually you use it in astronomy, but it's the same concept. Yeah. It just pops a bit more. It's much pretty. Yeah. yeah. A detail I didn't do earlier sometimes, I add uh, just another type of uh, lighting as if, I, as if I did the white in the eye, the, the sparkles, but it's another color. And sometimes I just go completely towards the green. Like right now, it's much more towards the green, and then I play with the opacity, and it still works. It's pretty. Anyways, for the normal highlights, it, again, you stay with the cyan color more instead of the same blue. You play with it. Same thing as earlier blur it, ch change the opacity and stuff. And if you want it to pop more, you can go back to uh, brightness and contrast and play uh, play with the brightness and contrast and bam, it pops a lot more. So that is blue eye. And sometimes if you want to make yours just like, nah, it pops too much, you can play with the color deepen and now it's much more gray than it was, but it still pops. I don't know if that makes sense. Just play with brightness and contrast, it's always fun to, to see. Yay. Now, since I went from, since I moved this thing, I'm gonna, I'm just curious to how it'll look if I change the hue again. So yeah, this is a part where it would not work. <laughs> I can't see it. Yeah, hold on. Because 
the green the green here might work the green the the green and the blue work but then you continue and you're like heesh that's um that's a weird color you have there buddy i think that looks interesting it's interesting yeah but i would hmm, i would make it a bit more better oh i like that it's funky looking I like that. I think it would work, but it's definitely if you want more unique guys. Yeah. So that, that This is an example of like when you play with the hue, sometimes it works, sometimes it gives kind of weird results. But uh, yeah. Was that, a, was that a ride with the eye tutorial? If that's that's Denny's. That's how I color eye. Behold, and then I, and then of course afterwards I just uh, I had some sparkly sparkles. Yeah. Uh, the eye is complete. Rejoice. <laughs> also, when you're drawing the whites of the eyes, don't use white. Use an off white. Please. Yeah. I sometimes don't do that. It's because with the because with the shading I do the uh, the highlights always work. But what Gracie means is because the sparkles are gonna be, the sparkles are pure white, but the inside of the the eye shouldn't always be pure white. It looks white, but it's not. It's an off white. So you know when you go to like the paint section of a hardware store and they have like eggshell. You, like, it's but it's not very, white. Like, it's very it's, subtle, it's, but you can see that the sparkle yeah. is much whiter than the inside of the eye. Yeah. That's the advice Gracie does, that has. I myself don't use it because of the shading I do, but, like, sometimes I do. It's just, it really depends to, if you like it or not. But, yeah, I agree with this sentiment, even if I don't use it. The inside of the eye is never going to be pure white. It shouldn't be pure white. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I'm not gonna make it white because fuck you. Damn. Okay, I see how it is. No, it really is just, it's just because it's, uh, it's kind of how you, I, I'm used to this. But yeah, technically, technically, I should make the inside of the eye not pure white, like the sparkles. You are correct on that matter. <laughs> Were you yawning or crying? Crying. No. You hurt my feelings. How love dare you? you? No, I love you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, did, did you guys have other uh, questions with the tutorial thingies? If you want to need to show how to color other things or if that was okay. Ah, the stream has been going on for an hour and 48 minutes. Woo! An hour and 48 minutes of me trying my best and also pure anxiety of doing the things. Santa baby, <laughs> Santa <laughs> Here we go again. under the tree for me. Uh... Booga booga. Hi, Deacon. How are you? It is a Deacon in the chat. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. Again, this is why you two share a brain cell. Did you have any questions about how to color things or anything? Or are you just here to just cause chaos as usual? I don't mind either. <laughs> Cat in the box. Don't make me grab more references. I've spanned dark enough. <laughs> no, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot in my DMs right now. <laughs> they let I'll find more. I will find more. Uh, hi, buddy. Diddy Ken is dealing with a headache, but I want to pop it for a sec. Oh, no. <laughs> Please take care of yourself, homie. It's okay, friend. I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> yes, and I'm still yelling at you to go eat, but he still hasn't left. No. Uh, hi, buddy. You just joined me on me trying my best to uh, show how I do stuff. Uh, now I'm at the part where I just ask people if they want to see specific things, so 
uh, I, I showed how I color eyes. So far in the stream at the beginning, I, I, I showed rough sketches uh, for uh, when you draw a character with the body, the body of a character. Uh, rough sketches. Uh, head shapes, nose shapes for uh, animals. Uh, quickly the hair very quick. Uh, Eagle Dragon, go eat and take your med medication. It's important. Please. At least take medication, okay. if anything. You should eat with it, but... Yeah, there is a... If anything. It's not, necess it's not necessarily in order anymore, but there was also a moment where talking of landscapes with Gracie, because Gracie is much better at this than I am. Uh, yeah. We talked about skin tones. We talked and uh, shading and lighting differences. I use and uh, coloring the eye. There's a there's a lot of stuff with a lot of anxiety sprinkled in because I am an anxious mess. Oh, so yes, Eagle <laughs> Dragon, you go fucking eat and take your medication. <laughs> this is an order with a please at the end. Please go take food and medication. At least medication. Do that one. At the, at the very least, your medication, because that's that's important. Please. Eating is important, but medication is arguably more important. So go do that first, at least. Oh, you go. Please, pretty please. I'm gonna draw a crying face if you don't. Be responsible. Take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. I know it's hard to do sometimes, but you gotta do it. I could give a little art tip, I guess. Yeah. I have a little art tip. Um, if you are not a cell drawer like Dark... Um... Like, if you're not a cell draw like Dark, which what that means is if you don't complete your lines and you can't use, like, the fill bucket or the select tool to, like, fill in all your spaces, mm -hmm. and you'd much rather just, like, color over it, uh, color over it or underneath the lines. Uh, one thing that I do is I, um, my line art brush or, like, the layer that I put my line art on, I usually set that to multiply and then I'll just color underneath it and not worry about the cells. And it kind of gives it uh, an immersive feeling because the lines uh, will change color as you draw underneath it. And it kind of gives it like Ooh. it's in the scene kind of vibe, at least for me. You don't have to do that, but. That sounds really dope, actually. <laughs> Also, yes, go take your meds. You're making the little face cry by not doing so. Nah, you don't know when I'll end the stream, buddy. Dude, this will go. This can and will go on for hours. It is better to take a break. Yeah, can you take them while watching the stream, please? Go take yep, your medication do and, and take do care it. of yourself. Uh, I know I can't fucking force Greasy to go numb while in the stream, but I know she will numb afterwards, but please take your medication. Yeah, I will afterwards. But please take your medication, bud. Exactly. You're not gonna miss it. It's, it's gonna take two, two, one minute max. If you miss the stream, there's something called a rewind button. I'm that just too. saying. That too. But yeah, go take your medications. Meds are important. They can't wait. Go do it. Mm -hmm. I just want to try real quick what you're talking about. I'm just going to keep this sketch. So you put in multiply. Yeah, so my line art sketch is multiply, and then I just color underneath it. I don't use the select tool to fill anything in, and it kind of gives it a really like nice immersive feeling. It doesn't really work if you don't like paint underneath it or like color underneath it, because then it'll um, 
it won't really do anything. And uh, I usually like I don't do black. Oh right. Like I'll what's I'll the, color. What's the color of your My lines actually? will be like brown. Brown. Yeah, usually brown. If it's like a nighttime setting, they'll be like dark blue. If it's like if the drawing's gonna be red and dangerous, I usually use dark brown or like a dark red. Or even a light red. Sometimes it works with light red. I'm going to try different colors. This is just for fun because I was curious. I just think it looks nice. And if you draw, like, if you're drawing underneath it and you're drawing, like, things like vitiligo, which is like the, uh, it's the skin disease that uh, turns your uh, face pigment, not your face, your skin pigment white. So you get like really speckled drawings and stuff, like really speckled designs and stuff on the skin. Um, it, it's really useful for that. It'll make the lines look like um, it'll make the lines look like it's going along with that as well. Okay, yeah, I can see. It's neat. Back to this thing. <laughs> yeah. Did they go? Yeah. Fine. Good. That is good. <laughs> do drug skits, but only if doctors approve. <laughs> that specific that that thing is is important to specify, indeed. Okay. Why hair is weird, beloved? Why hair is weird? It depends oh, why on what. Hair? I actually have an example. For, I have an example with a character actually for that. Yeah, why hair is a little weird. It depends on the color scheme for the character, where they're at, and like, so and kind of what shade the white is. Mm -hmm. I never, whenever I draw white hair, there is always a gradient of another color. Because when it's just the, 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 the quote-unquote white, because it's never pure white, it feels wrong to me. I'll give an example. Where is Kai? The rule of thumb I follow is if your hair is pure white, use uh, an overlay filter and, well, not, okay, sorry, not overlay, crap. Oh, I forget. Use a multiply filter and only and use gray. No, it is overlay. Use gray and put it on there. The overlay won't do anything until you put colors on underneath it. Okay. And it'll change the colors to the certain uh, scene you're using. Well, this is my character Kai and his hair is white. But his the way I do hair, it's never pure white. Uh, where's the layer with the hair? Oh, it's this one. There's also the layer with the eye, apparently. I'm just gonna deselect that real quick. Okay. I'm just going to put it on another layer so I can work with it more easily without destroying the things. So, yeet. <laughs> the is like, Kai, I know it's the boy. So, uh, whenever I draw the white hair, there's always a sort of gradient. For Kai's case, uh, first of all, the main color, it's not pure white. His is slightly blue. Just... If you look very closely, it's very hard to see. If I get rid of the line art, even then it's very hard to see. It's very, very subtle. It just, you slightly move the cursor here to not make it pure white. But there is also a gradient of a blue here. Like, when you just look at him, it doesn't look like it. But if I got rid of that gradient, suddenly it feels wrong to me. It's so it's so subtle, but yeah, I just like having a gradient. Yeah, for white, I think if you're doing pure white, use a light gray. Like if it's purely pure, pure, pure white, you don't want anything else in it. Use a light gray. Um, but if you're going for off whites, um, for characters with for characters like Kai, um, I would use like a really light pink if you're going solely based on red i think the blue contrasts really well with kai in general i think you did a good job there Thank but if you. you're going from a cooler character then i would use like a really light blue it really depends on the character yeah. as for shading uh 
because I see the question of how do you shade white hair with very light purple. Uh, my shading style is uh, is purples. I, I agree with that, Galaxy Cat. I share that sentiment. I usually do light purple. Mm -hmm. I shade with uh, just, I make, uh, I my shading is always between this part, so uh, so towards pa some pinks, purples, and some blues if it's the night. So I just go around those whenever I shade. So all the shading everywhere is a sort of purple. Sometimes with a gradient of darker purple if I feel like it. So it's all the same. And then I put, and then I make it to multiply and I play with the opacity. So every shading is the same. And in this case, it's a sort of purple. So that's, that's how it looks on him. But I could play with, uh, with the shading and it gives a different vibe. Let's say, uh, with the hue. If I go this way, it's more towards the red and pink. It's not the same anymore. Or if towards the blue, then it's not. Again, it's a different vibe. It's more to. It's, it's as if it was the night when it's blue. But uh, yeah, my shading is often towards uh, towards this kind of purple, right between the pink and the blue. I put it in multiply, and then I play with the opacity. I give, I almost give hair the same uh, rules as I do for flowers. Like if you're shading flowers. Mm -hmm. But uh, that that's just me, and I'm weird. We're all weird here. It's fine. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh -woo. But uh, yeah. So whenever you, when, whenever I make like, uh, what there's what's supposed to be white hair, I I often go for for the white part of the hair. I always go towards the here, just right between the sign and the blue, and that's the main color. That's the main white. And then I decide which gradient I want. So for Kai, uh, it's like a lighter blue, but I play with the opacity. So it looks like this. Uh, sometimes it could be more towards a pink purple and it would still work. It would still pretty. Uh, I think this is like the only example I have with white hair. I'm sending it to you. The pink? Like, I have another character who's an example uh, with white hair, or, well, not quite white hair, but light hair, very, very pale, but with a gr pink gradient, and her name is Lilith. Hold on, Lilith, where are you? Do I have any more people with white hair? Any more gay people in this phone? Where are you? <laughs> Where's... There she is. Tis Lilith. Oh, this one. Yes, the pretty lady. Yeah. Pretty tiefling lady. So, bo both she and Kai have sort of, you know, very pale hair or white hair. Kai's more on the blue side, while uh, Lilith's, it's... Uh, the, the main white part of her hair is actually more towards the yellow, but the gradient in, your hair, in her hair is pink, is more of the pink side. And same thing with Kai. If I get rid of the gradient, it looks wrong and I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Like, case in point. If I do that, I don't like it. It feels like something's missing. It's still pretty, but I don't like it. I like my gradient. So yeah, just have fun. So, so I think I sent you two examples of the same character. Yeah, it's just one is like an AU or something? Well, both of them are AUs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. No, I like... I stand corrected. Is there any more? Any more? I don't think so. I mean, you you sure you want to ask this question? Like, I, I don't think everyone... Like we're all gay here. I'm Arrow Ace, but we're all gay here. <laughs> Wait, I mean, I'm Arrow Ace, but I call myself gay anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> Greasy and I, Greasy and yeah. I are just arrow his buddy, but at the same time, we're just like, haha, gay. Gay. Gay people pog. You're happy, Deacon? I said the word! <laughs> I rarely see it, so fucking enjoy it. Anyways. White hair. Uh, 
again, you just pick the main color that's very pale. You can so for Lilith, I went for yellow. For Kai, mm -hmm. I went towards for for Kai, I went towards the blue. You could go for any, and then I personally add a very 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 subtle gradient, but that's just me. It's up to you if, after that. And again, for the shading, uh, shading is always gonna be towards the purples, and I play I made put in multiply and I play with the opacity and that's that's how I do it that's how I would shade hair white hair that's how I just shade in general <laughs> I love men's I'm not gay <laughs> why well, I still call myself gay we're all gay <laughs> and I love all of you anybody else with white hair in my phone come out now <laughs> So I say by the preference, like people more with the personalities, and that is valid. Every single one of you is valid, okay? I'm also a race and call myself gay. My brother is very annoyed by it. <laughs> Lol. I mean, Era Ace is a spectrum. Yeah. So you can definitely still be gay in Era Ace. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Which is me. Yes, look yes. at Gracie. She's a living example of that. Me. It's you. I have a gay partner. <laughs> We're gay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, meds were taken. Good. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Okay. Did anyone else have another question? If the if they wanted advice on how to color stuff or just how to line stuff, sketch stuff, anything. I see your evil face, Deacon. I know you heard the word. Good for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, did you want me to show the thing? I forgot to save it. Oh, you can if you want. Yeah. Lips. <laughs> I got that. You good, bud? Yeah, bud. Okay. Thanks for having <laughs> Okay. Um... You're unfortunately talking to someone who rarely draw lips. My mouths just look like that. Yeah, hey, I rarely draw them too. It's all right. Yeah, hey, the only time the lips are seen is when I do a little shading. But I... if you want, if you want to see how I like do, uh, if they have like lips, uh, lipsticks, I can. But I usually don't color lips. Where is she? Where is she? Because there's different. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of tutorials that I could show like different kinds of way. Because I've seen people uh, do like where it's very soft looking. I don't know, even, like uh, where they look more like that, but not quite like that. Hold on. Batman voice. Where is she? That one, she's got lips. Because there's people who just do like very soft like that, which is fine. I personally don't do that. What I usually do is... Uh... Glad I'm sending you all my work in progresses. <laughs> you are. I call the, the, the better references. Where are they? They're hiding from you. They are scared. They are scared of being seen to the world yet. Where is she? <laughs> so what I do is I draw the bottom lip first with the main color, and then just a, and a darker color uh, for the, ah. My style is trying to run away for uh, the upper lip. It's. I tend to just do a very tiny upper lip because I'm not used to uh, draw lipstick. I rarely do it on characters, but I do sometimes. A lot of these are traditional. I was not expecting that. Hmm. There's one more. There's one more I want to use, but I can't find her. But Where yeah, are that'd you? Be, that, that'd be how I, I just like color lips in general. Just a main color and then a slightly darker color and bam. Lips. Behold. Where are you, Helen? She actually looks Why cute. I'm surprised. I find you? And uh, if let's say if that pink is not the color you wanted, you can play with uh you know, just uh have fun with the hue and the contrast and saturation. Have fun. Like this is very, very pink right now. But uh yeah, that that was that was how I do lips. Sure. 
You can pick and choose with yeah, these. Yeah, it basically looks like a tiny mustache, them. you're right. But when you unzoom, it's like, oh, it's lips. Well, as for women. You can pick and choose with the ones I'm sending. I, they're all pretty much the same. But the last one the last one is a profile and the one I'm most proud of. Yeah, I'll, do oh wings. I'll do wings in a second. I'm go I have a feeling that the reason you guys said wings is because of Kai, but it's fine. Uh, uh, wings. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll just wait before the wings. I still want to show how Grace he do some lips. The last one. The last one's the best one. Uh, front facing, and then uh, probably the pink sticky note is the best in the front or the one above it. Got it. I'll have to do some cleaning up in the fucking files because I'm saving a lot of things I don't need, but it's fine. You're all good. <laughs> They're all work in progresses and I love them. They're not all work in progresses. One of them is. Yeah. I'm making rollies and having mus muscle stick. That's nice. That's good. Okay. Where are they? Where are they? Okay, there's one. Where's the other? There's the two. Uh, this is how Gracie do lips when they're gonna appear in a second. Give me second. Shit. Mine's gonna, it's gonna pop up on screen in about five hours. Bear oh. with me. <laughs> well, that's how long the stream delay is. I hate it. Anyways, it's there. <clears throat> that one, yeah. Oh, crap. Okay. I see it, I think. Okay, yes. Little tooth gap. Look at the little tooth gap. Look at the little, you, uh, look at you little love boy. To see them. It's also, so another cute. example of round face shape. Anyway. Yeah. Look at it. I just want to squish. So cute. <laughs> squish, squish, squish. Yes. Okay. So, in Nika's case, this is Nika, guys. This is from my best friend's book. You should go check it out. Anyways, uh, there's. <laughs> <problem>. um, <laughs> There is, um, so for lips, I, I usually keep them thin. I'm not very great with fuller lips yet. I'm trying to fix that because I have a plus size character that I'm really trying to work on yeah. and I want to give her bigger lips. But, um, with Nika here, I gave, I gave them thin, thin lips, um, for lips, the most, the biggest part with lips is they're going to be more wider in the middle than they are on the sides, but that doesn't mean you can't make them wide on the sides. Yeah. Um, and you also don't have to make them round shaped. Round shaped lips are nice, but for, for beginners especially, you can make them thin. You're allowed to do that. There's different as kind a of person. lips. Just go, just have fun. Just have fun. Try them out. It's going to take a while. Eventually, you'll find. Eventually, it'll be so, okay. So that's the front. Bye bye, view. guys. The front bye bye, view. whoever's in the <laughs> If I don't survive my internet death, I will show the best of luck in art. No, buddy! <laughs> buddy, no! L. No. Bye bye. Okay, now I'm right. side view. Also, I really like the hair, it looks so soft. Thank you. Her hair like, is off. I just like this my is... sister's art, okay? <laughs> so this is the author of the book that's doing Nika. Anyways, <laughs> you should check, you should check out that book. Anyways, um, <laughs> so um, with this one, um, for side profiles, what you really want to understand is that your lips are gonna pop out. You're, they're not gonna. They're not gonna stand like completely parallel to your face. They're gonna that, pop out. That too, and they're not at the same, you know, place as your teeth. Your teeth are not. In... No. Yeah, yeah. Your teeth are gonna be a little bit inside, which I didn't do here because it's my style. But um, that. But your teeth are gonna be a little farther back into your mouth. But your lips, so they're gonna pop out of your face, and you're not gonna like that. They're gonna pop out, but they do, and that's they okay. Do. They do. Um, That's okay. And with uh, mouths, you want to really remember circles, I think. Yeah, um, circles are... And um, they're flat, like, flat circles along... Imagine you're, like, imagine you're chewing a cookie. That cookie is the circle of your mouth. 
<laughs> like it's a really big disc. You're eating a really large cookie, okay. and that's how I do my mouth. I just remembered, like I think, I think there was someone who just I think they did like uh, circles like that for they were big lips, and then they just. I forgot to semicircles. Yeah, you could also yeah. uh you could also um say semicircles. They just did circles like that and ba bam lips. Oh yeah, you can also do that as well. That that doesn't work as well for me. No. It just never really did. I just don't use it but... because again my mouths are often just little lines and I'm okay with that. But that's a, that's a tutorial I've seen, and I mean, yeah, it kind of works. It for, works for a lot of people, but it doesn't really work for me. It a, yeah, it doesn't really work for me, but for a lot of people, it does. So yeah, keep just, on that. All useful, of these so ahead. far is just that's what I do. It works for me. It doesn't work yeah. for everyone, and that's okay. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be posted, but <laughs> I'm gonna be a bit ashamed of it at first because I am an anxious mess. And I had there were multiple times of anxiety and me being unsure, but I will post it's okay. it. The first thirty minutes of it was just me singing Santa Baby. It's okay. That too, but <laughs> I'm at this lips. You are correct, but uh, yeah, there was a lot of anxiety for me because I'm not used to doing this. Uh, but I'm gonna post it. Yes, so everyone's gonna be able to uh, rewatch it later if they need to. Now wings. <laughs> Because people wanted to see wings, and I'm gonna just... Oh, do I have any wings? I don't think I do. I do. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna sketch, because I'm pretty sure they saw Kai's wings and like, ooh, pretty. There, now, there are plenty, again, there are plenty of tutorials. Oh, and I have folded wings. Yeah. So, I'm gonna make tiny wings. Uh, first, when I, when I draw wings, uh, I need the base shape of it. Right now it looks like bat wings, but I'll add the feathers afterwards. There are plenty of ways to draw wings. This is just how I personally do it. I tend to add fluff. I like, I like to add fluff. And then it's just, it's just things like that, honestly, really. With wings, you really want to remember triangles. Triangles will be your best friend there. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, where are where are you, Moon? There are, there are multiple layers of feathers that you want to keep in mind of. So that's one way to do wings that I draw wings, but there's always going to be uh, different. There's different types of, of feathers. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a wing expert, but there there's are... also there's also like bug wings too. Yeah, so these are fe these are feathered wings. Uh, I'm gonna go back go back with the shape and do bat some uh, dragon slash bat wings real quick. Oh, uh, that that one picture you could show for bug wings. Hold on, let me send it again. I hope I didn't save it like ten times. Oh, look, I did. Bug wings. I made it fast, so it's not perfect, but you know. What do you mean, wings slash neg? Wings slash paws. Slash pause. We say slash pause in this uh, chat. No, no, there no, is just... negativity. Wings there are is nice, no negativity. But wings are nice, but sometimes it's hard to draw. We we do not take negativity in this chat. Uh, I just did like some weird fairy wings, like Ooh, or butterfly, but I <laughs> I rarely do those, so I don't really care about those that much. Oh, I do have fairy wings. Oh, I'm pretty I sure Deacon's gonna to. fucking yell at me for daring say the fairy wings. I don't care about those. I do. I just don't draw fairies that much. I draw fairies all the time. I know. <laughs> I am aware. April. 
Is it in this October? I think it's in this October. So yeah, just basically when you draw a wing, just have a general idea of what you want the shape to be. Like let's say if the wing is, sli the wing is slightly folded, uh, like that. So it's just a general shape and then afterwards on another layer, you add uh, the first part of the feathers. Um, I add some floof. Okay, I sent you those bug wings. Here's some fairy wings. Okay, not so not the one I wanted. Layer layer of the feathers. Then you had the second. You can add as many as you want because it's the because it depends on how much you want. I personally only do three every time, and bam, you have wings. So that's how I do them. That's how I draw them. Wings are just arms, but weird. <laughs> That is not true. <laughs> I mean, for bats it is. For bats it is. For birds it is, kind of, technically. Yeah. So, they're, they're not exactly right, but they're not wrong either. Where are my fairies? Wings Why small, can't I find them? I'm not very good at drawing them. You say that, but I find them pretty. Yeah, Where are, are my fairies? So, Why can't I find them? I don't know. Why have they gone away? So yeah, these were wings and temple. I hope uh, I hope this there's enough. Yeah. As for color, it literally depends on which color you want. For Kai, it's just his wings are white, but there's a gradient of dark color at the end. That's it. <laughs> But if you want specific bird color, uh, if you want to draw wings of a specific bird, then I suggest you look at the bird because <laughs> you're gonna need it. Clumsy and popsicle. I'm just gonna close Find your father. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm just gonna close those real quick. Bye, Lilith. Bye, Kai. Right. Okay, well, I sent you a couple. I sent you yeah, a couple. Yeah, I'm gonna show these two. Both of them are cute. And they show like the types of wings you do. Wait, technically, wait, uh, your demon Zona has wings, correct? Mine? Yeah, she was a bee. Right? Mine has bug wings. I'm a bee. You are a bee. I'm surprised you didn't send her. Maybe you just forgot about her. <laughs> I don't think I have her in my phone. I I, I, I lost like everything on my computer, guy. Oh fuck, right. Okay. I, mean, I think I yeah. do. I think I do have her. I'll see if I can open. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna open the two you have. If I... Oh, I do have feathers. Holy shit. Holy shit. This one and uh, this one. These are two examples of Gracie's fairy wings that are gonna appear eventually fucking fully. I, I sent you oh, so I sent you feathers too. I found feathers. Ooh! Felza! It is Felza. I like the way you okay. <laughs> I like the way you did the wings. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you really called this one Badza? Yeah. <laughs> You alone. <laughs> no, no, I, it's fine. Bill's on Minecraft is so brave. <laughs> He's the bravest man I ever met. Okay, back to the okay, So here we have Bill's Gracie as a little fairy. Look I how cute she is. He's so brave. Look how cute. Just simple. Like little that. fairy. I just zoomed on like the very sketch. You're just a fucking bunch of lines on her shoulder. What? I just zoomed on like just... it's supposed to be you on her shoulder. It's just a bunch of lines, and I'm laughing. Yeah. It's okay. It doesn't look like it's that. just a bunch of lines. You're not supposed to zoom in on the fairy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but she looks very cute. And then another type of bug wings. Look at those. I like those. I just like this drawing. They are, so that character is supposed to be a bee, but also he makes cicada sounds, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Fairy wing pod, yes. But I like the way... Honestly, I just like this drawing. I just find it very cute. 
It's a really good drawing. Uh, so things with like bug wings. Uh, bug wings are very like cellular. Yeah. Like they have cells. They're, they're, They'll have they, like these types of weird lines wings. inside of them. And so yeah. Can be uh, that's why you want to remember with that. But you don't always see them, so you want to make them visible, but not too visible. Yeah, just slightly transparent. Yes. Just slightly. And then uh, here's the feathered wings she did. Look at this drawing. Look at him. Father. <laughs> okay. Crow, in her, father. In Gracie's case, it's really a bunch of lines going everywhere. And that still works. It just looks very fluffy. Father. Fluffy wings. Look at him. Anime weeb father. Yeah, Ego Dragon said crow father. Yeah, he is the crow father, actually. <laughs> that is one of his titles. Uh, I'm not surprised. Crow father. <laughs> All right, these were wings. Father. All right. <laughs> okay, calm down. He's still on screen. I have to say, father. <laughs> He's gonna be gone on the screen very soon. Gapple gang. Oh my god. Father. Oh, oh no, father. <laughs> Just father. Oh no, father. Oh no, father. You, you all, you are very, you are very quotable right now. I could have quoted that. So, father. Dragon says, "All hail the crow father." All hail the crow father. <laughs> okay. Um. Anything else you guys wanted to to, to see? Sort of. We're just vibing right now. This is this is a you tell me what to what to doodle slash tutorial today. I really want someone just to say something really hard to draw, and you're like, uh. No, I'm gonna scream uh, and then decide if I actually do. It. Yeah. Like again, I, don't ask for something I, I can't something do. Oh, fire! I can do that actually. Fire. Fire. You know, despite having a lot of fire ACs, I actually don't have a lot of fire in my phone. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> fire. Listen. Okay, I'm gonna keep uh, the dark color. Actually, I'm gonna change... No, I'm gonna keep it like that, actually. Just pep. So, fire. Uh, there are fire mul again, there are multiples, multiple uh, tutorials for, fi for fire, because it really depends on how you want to do it. Let's say I just want to do, like, a little basic flame. I always, I always just kind of sketch it at first. This burning desire oh my God, is burning to sin. It's not my fault. I'm not too blue. It is which is at this point. It's not my fault. If it could blur. Sometimes I don't even follow my sketch. Okay, don't question it. Uh, this, this is you just... see the you, you see the sketch that you just wonderfully crafted. Don't use it. <laughs> it's just this flames can be unpredictable with the shape and stuff. You just flames you, you may sketch, flames are you very may, unpredictable. You may quickly sketch. You may quickly sketch. sketch you may quickly sketch uh, something, but sometimes you're just like, ah, I'm not gonna use it actually. Whoops. Honestly, for fire, unless you're, it's just like lighting a match or a candle, just, just search up fire and then trace it, like. Honestly, yeah, because just. It's so, un it's so unpredictable, and if you're having trouble with making the shapes uh, look like how you want them to, it's great to just trace. Yeah, just. Flames and it's so unpredictable. Who's it? It's like, so if it's just it's a, like if it's just on the, if it's just on if it's just like, on a candle, you just do a little drop thingy and that works. Yeah. But yeah, like who's gonna come after you and be like, oh my god, you traced this fire off of Google Images? Like, whoa, damn, jeez, what a fucking. Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone, stop making you want to watch Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> Do it. The Phantom of the Opera Inside your mind. Anyways, for fire. Uh, I do the main color as orange immediately. I preserve opacity. Where is she? Of course, it's for normal color. Because uh, I go back towards red a bit. And with uh, the airbrush tool, 
I add a little red gradient towards the tip. Then go back to yellow and inside I add some yellow. And sometimes I do that with the airbrush tool again, where I just add some more lines inside. Behold, tis fire. There's fire in my skin. So yeah, that's a fire. This, this is the basic uh, way of how I draw fires. But if I want to make, you know, make them light up and stuff, what I do is I copy paste it. Uh, I blur it a little bit to make like to make it glow, to make like a weird glow of, around it. Oh man, I missed a landscape, and it's actually one of my favorite landscapes. Damn, S -S fuck, shit, piss, <laughs> come. No, I don't like that word. <laughs> Copy paste it, make it. Well, I say it a lot, so. I'm not surprised, but not here. Damn. So, copy paste it to make a blur to like a little sort of glow, and then Lumi Shade. The other one is also Lumi Shade. And you play with you play the opacity. Like let's say if I keep it normal, you just play with the opacity, or you could just put it at luminosity and play with it. Just fire, you know? So like the bottom one could be Lumi Shade, the one could be Luminosity, or both of them could be Lumi Shade and you play with the opacity. It still works. It's still fire. So that's how I do fire. There's that digital, digital glitter by drawing feeling pretty good. Hell yeah! Glitter nice. Yeah, this was this was the fire tutorial. Gracie's fucking gone right now. <laughs> oh, <ew. laughs> I forget about layer types. Yeah, because honestly, just I most of my layers are normal. The only time I change it is for shading. So shading will shading is gonna be uh, multiply. Then highlights is gonna be a mix of lumi and shade and luminosity. And those are the three I use the most. Sometimes I use overlay for other stuff, but most of the time it's multiply, lumi and shade, and luminosity that I use. And then if I don't count normal being literally 90% of it. A chibi? <laughs> chibi is very simple. You just don't care about- you just don't <laughs> quite care about proportions, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> it's just- Yeah, honestly. TB's big head and tiny body. Cause like same thing with the rough sketch for the normal body is just circle the line and the line inside to just you know guide where the head's supposed to be. But then everything else is just so tiny. Tiny. Your hands could be blob like Greasy does, and that still works, you know? We don't talk about blobs. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. But it was my wedding day. Sometimes, we sometimes, still, still, sometimes, when, even if you don't care about proportion, sometimes you're just like, yeah, the arms looks a bit funky, so I'm just gonna... Walks in with a grin. You telling a story just, or uh, not? For, this, for the rough sketch, at least, it's just big circle. It's like rain. It's just big circle and a tiny body, I'm and behold, you have a chibi. It's my brain. But if you clean it up, when I do a chibi, it's just, it's always going to be a round cheek and just very round over here, very tiny nose, little mouth. And there's two types of chibis. Uh, there's uh, the one I use for here, where it's just a, you know, round little shape, but the eye is just, just black, 
with a little dot in it or you know like that if you're nervous like me so there's these type of chibis where it's just very simple eye it could just be a black dot and it would work or I, it's either that or I draw really 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 big big white eyes like that black yeah, he sees your dreams and feasts on your screams. <laughs> He's fucking gone. We don't Every talk time you say greasy, I momentarily hear greasy. Yeah. We don't talk about Bruno. Uh, Ingo, yeah, you can. Wait, do you... He told the fish would die the next day. You have Instagram? Yeah. Are you able to DM me? If so, he go ahead. He told the and just like he said, he said that all my hair would disappear. Now look at my head. You good, bud? Your fate is sealed when your prophecy But uh, yeah, Chibis, it's, it's, it's just tiny body, round head, round little cheeks. And for the face, uh, you decide. It's either just very simple with... Could be just black eye, black dots and that. Or just very big, cutesy eye. That's all it is. That's, that's all it is. And I, I hope you heard. I hope you heard that through the singing. It's like I hear him now. I want not a sound out of you. Hey, Gracie, you good? Him. Yeah. Um, Bruno. Yeah, about that Bruno. I really need to know about Bruno. We just lost Gracie right now. Just Bruno, Isabella, your boyfriend's here. Time for dinner. It was our wedding day. We were getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyone else have anything? or? Uh... Yes, I am greasy. Thank you. <laughs> Greasy is greasy. Grace, Greeky. Greeky. I'm Greeky. 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 Is Greasy a theater kid? Sounds lovely, by the way. Me? Yes. Are you theater kid? I well, I mean, I was never in theater, but I did. Uh, I did uh, have like a Vegas. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm not. I will. I will admit, even if you guys think that my my folds look good, I am not an expert on those. So, uh, I might have a few. So even if you like it, just take what I do with a grain of salt, because uh, I am. Um, I actually don't know what I'm doing most of the time. It, I'm just like looks nice, cool, and I did look look tutorial, so I sort of know what I'm doing. But not enough in which I feel comfortable to just show what I do because I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna do that. You, Greasy, have some good things for full of fabric folds? I might. Greasy uh, might. Greasy might save you all. Yes. I have a lot of pictures to look through. I don't have any folders for my art, so you're gonna have to bear with me. There are people who yell at me to name my layers, and then there's Gracie who doesn't fucking have multiple files and folders. Oh yeah, I don't have multiple files and folders for anything. Uh, How do you live? That. No, wait. Hold on. Uh, I don't have multiple files and folders for things, and um, I don't name my layers on um, uh, I never. I, I'm... I never name my layers unless it's for something very specific. Like, uh, I don't want to lose the tears layer. I'll name it. But, like, most of the time, I never name my layers. But oh, I, just, I, yeah, have I just files, and all, I I find have files and folders to keep things organized or else I would never find my shit. I just turn it off and on again until I understand what's on that layer and then I move on. That too. Yeah, same. That's what I do. <laughs> I never name my layers, but I don't understand how you live without putting your pictures and folders in layer. Oh my fucking god. Well, I have a few folders, but they're not for art. Uh, listen, oh, listen, exactly. listen, listen. Hold on. I'll try to check real quick. That one has some... Um... That 
one's not a great example, so I'll skip past it. Oh, <laughs> okay, I just went on your community post because I didn't get a notification and <laughs> he's so shiny. He glows. Shiny? Yeah. Talk about shiny. No, not that type of shiny. Here, I'll send you the link to the community post. Have fun checking it. I can't show. I, can, I cannot show it to people, but I like it. It's very cute. Talk about shiny. Thank you for the thing, Ego. It looks cute. All my recent stuff has Mark Fultz in it. Why am I looking in my past? Just... Guys, never look back at the past. It'll never, it'll never come back to you. I mean, it's always good to, it's always good to look back at the drawings you've done to just realize how. how never much look you've back at the past. You will mourn. <laughs> sure, you might cringe at your old art, but it's always, it's always a good reminder to just look back and see how much you've improved since then. So it's always cool. Flickle and I'm trying to see if I have at least one more. Okay, did you find the folds? I'm finding some, but also not as many as I would have liked. Oh, oh. We're still waiting for the Gracie. Hold on, guys. <laughs> oh, I did. I really pick eleven items. Oh, I picked some on accident. Okay, oh that was like, huh? Oh my god. You almost got some selfies in there. <laughs> I mean, I know your face. So I would have cared. I. Yeah, I wouldn't have really cared either, but I think it'd just be really funny. <laughs> just, ah, you want me to show yourself? You got it. And it's popping up. Fabric floor. There you go. I'll let you pick and choose. You just gotta tell me which oh, one I'm Okay, I'm gonna like that. I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna take that one. No, hey, I said that one. You. I'm gonna take the last one because it's it's just very cute. I know, right? It's, right. So, it's so cute, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I picked three out of all of them. Pick three. Okay, tell me. Tell me which one I'm gonna be looking at. And uh, then you're I gonna, well, I mean, you already know which one because I already said that the last one is very fucking cute. Yeah, I know uh, that one. I don't I'm know gonna which look one at the here. Heather Chandler, I guess, and uh, the one dancing in the night. Okay. All right, just tell me which one shows up first, and I'll. I'll see, cause I don't know. I'm still, uh, I'm still about to open them. Okay. You're all good. This one, um, this one, and uh, where are you? Where are you? There you go. I'm so sorry. Also, Heather's first. Heather Chandler's first. Okay. So this isn't really Heather Chandler. I just drew my friend as Heather Chandler because I yeah, thought it was going to be fun. I forgot, anyway. I forgot names. I was just like, who is it as Heather? But I just decided to say Heather. Funny enough, this is Helen. <laughs> Did Helen finally join the stream or? Uh, no, I think she's still out running errands. I haven't seen SMH. her. SMH. Anyways. For a close Foy fold. Coco, yes, you're right. Floyd Coco, you're good. Okay, anyways. Um, there's not a lot of folds in here, but the biggest one I wanted to talk about uh, are, like, under the arms and also the skirt pleats. So, like, the armpits. If you're... If there's a lot of movement or a lot of stretching, your lines are going to be a lot longer and more in... Abundance, so you're gonna have a lot of lines. I didn't draw the lines, but I put it in shading. So there's yeah, a lot that's... of invisible lines that you can end up uh, using. You don't have to draw them out if you don't want to. Yeah, I just like, the... I'm just like quickly drawing over to show basically like what they would like kind of look like in line. And yeah, go ahead. Bam, folds. Bam, folds. That's and then when you're I'll, I'll talk about the bent arm too on uh, the bent arm um you'll have um when you're bending your arm more of the folds are gonna go inside than they are gonna be on the outside it's gonna be more smoother on the outside yeah. ba -bam. 
And then the pleats on the skirt, um, if you're doing a pleated skirt, they're going to be more like, they're, they're going to, there's going to be more because it is a pleated skirt and that's how it's designed. So you won't have a lot of lines that are like stretch marks or anything like that. Most of your lines are going to be done in the pleated, um, yeah, does- or at least, or at least that's, um, the amount of lines that you need to kind of like pull it off. That's what you're going to use. You don't have to use a lot of lines for that. Yeah. Except for like the essential ones. Except for the tiny ones where it's just yeah. I'm just Yeah. It's very sketchy and right now it's just but yeah, skirts like that, they tend to have a lot of blah 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 blah. Yeah. And they all kinda go in the same direction, but you can change it up for the sake of the piece if it looks better. Yeah, sometimes sometimes it's like I I start with this and then you it starts on the it goes on the other side. Yeah. And it's still the same kind of skirt. Well, not those lines, though. <laughs> it's still yeah. the same kind of skirt, but it's not all going in the same direction. It's as if the character was facing yeah. forward. Sort of. Different types of different types of skirts are gonna have uh, different types of folds, so you want to be careful with it. Yeah. Uh, Again, like as as most things, there are plenty of tutorials to. Uh, Oh, with like a lot of anime, there's a lot of pleated skirts in anime. Yeah, so that's there's cool. a lot of those. It's popular, but yeah, there's t- the different a lot of types of skirts. Just have fun exploring which one you got. You you like? There's yeah. there's plenty of skirts. They can be long. They can be short. They can be frinkly like that. They can be uh, can be a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. All right, next, this pretty lady uh, person. I was about to say lady, but I actually uh, dancing in the light. Mm-hmm. It's so pretty. Thank you. So that's another example with different types of skirts are gonna have uh, different types of folds. So this one's obviously a more flowy skirt. It's gonna have a lot of more circles and structure. Yeah. And, uh, and, since, and since, obviously, if you're, if you're since, spinning like this, uh, folds gonna, are gonna, it's gonna, gonna go in floaty. a certain it's direction. It's gonna be very floaty if you're spinning. Yeah, it's gonna be very floaty if you're spinning, and they're all gonna go in a certain direction. So you might want to keep that in mind before you do what I did and didn't think about that. Yeah. Um, but um, or you or you can make the or you can make the assumption that uh they're about to fall. In that any too. case, up to you, buds. In any case, art is subjective, and you can bring anything else. But um, the folds I kind of wanted to talk about are like near the shoulder. Uh, you'll get this a lot with um, shirts that are kind of like uh, too tight near the elbow, uh, but, and that's a reason. That's a reason I kind of wanted to um, uh, draw it like this. That's a little detail I wanted to add. But um, that's you kind of get that a lot. It kind of bunches up in the shoulder if it's a little too tight down um, down your arm. And then, of course, the folds are more plentiful in the bent elbow than they are, like, uh, across the elbow. Yeah, it kind of just... There's a lot of folds. And then with lifting your arm up again, there's going to be a lot of lines going in the direction of the arm um, when you're, like, lifting or anything like that. Just... If I draw over quickly, like, very quickly. Uh, more loose clothing is going to have more long flowy lines. Yeah. Um, but um, tighter clothing is going to have more strict, like, constricting lines. Yep. So, of course, here, everything is kind of long and flowing, except for, like, the arms of the shirt. Um, but, yeah. It's just cute. <laughs> the baby. Well, that's gonna appear for the guys. Um, all right, are we doing? Are we, are we on the next one now? Okay, it's supposed to be. Take a second. It took it took a second. Okay, um, and then I put this one in here because there's not a lot of folds in the clothes, but there is uh, where uh, this little guy is clinching onto his dad right now. Yeah. Um. So, um, it's gonna just really be pulled, yeah. So, uh, when clothing is kind of like pulled, um, a lot of the lines are gonna come from where it's pulling. Um, there's gonna be a lot of lines there, and then there's gonna be fewer lines going into the hand, yeah, kind of like that, yeah. 
There's also the folds of, you know, just over here with the little shirt, because kind of... This shirt, yeah. This shirt, too. Most of, most of it is, like, um, folds are kind of like a circle. Um, like, kind of like a donut. So, in the inside of the donut, uh, you're going to get more creases inside the donut. But outside of the donut, you're going to have... Um, it's going to be more smooth. There may be still creases... But every now, every once in a while, it's not going to be a lot of creases. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, these were cloth folds with Gracie's art. Yeah. I was going to close a... Close them. Up. Yeah. I think we went over shading, but we I don't think we did a... We did rendering yet, have we? Rendering? Rendering. What do you, mean? you don't typically render with your art, do you? Depends on what that means. Rendering is kind of like it gives it that painted look. Painted? I okay. I don't <laughs> so, uh, the Heather Chandler is a good example. Uh, where the lines kind of feel like they're with the piece. Oh! It's like it's one whole object. You don't see colors and then lines. You see it as like one whole object. Oh, I used oh. to do that. Where I colored the lines, but then I stop, and now it's only for certain things that I do that. Yeah. One example I could do is, uh, uh, actually, Memoria. Where's Memoria? I designed a god recently. <laughs> That's not the right folder at all. Okay. I do a lot of rendering in my art, and, um... It's not really great. I think the biggest thing, uh, the biggest thing you need to do before uh, designing to render is, um, I think you need to start doing it in a liminal space. Um, so like a space where there's not really a light source or anything like that. You just have your base colors and like, um, and like different. Um, you just have your base colors. And they're like sitting in the, like a no environment at all. I, I used and, to uh, I used to try where I colored a lot of the lines in this different color, but now it's just for specific things. Like whenever I do like golden jewelry, I tend to color the line something else so it pops a bit more. I don't know if that's what you were yeah. talking about. Uh, it's not just colored lines. It's also making sure the shading has good gradients, the lighting is right. It's like. Uh, you know the Helen piece where it's just her head? Yeah. The profile. It's like that. Okay. I don't do that. My lines tend to just stay black or get colored and that's kind of it. And then I just shade as usual. Also, uh, yeah, for those wondering, this, her name is Memoria. She is the goddess of time and space and memories. Yeah, rendering is, uh, is hard, especially when you you really have to look. You really have to like study pictures for rendering. Yeah, uh, light I, sources are hard. Um, I don't tend to do that, so I'm probably not going to be able to do a tutorial about that. <laughs> You'd have to do that. Uh, the the easiest way to practice rendering is find any image, like uh, literally any image, trace uh, trace over it, but not only trace the lines of the person trace where you see light where you don't see light where um uh where sh uh, where shadows gradient instead of are are gradiented instead of hard like hard versus soft shadows um and then just really focus on how to blend those colors together and where to put solid lines versus where not to put solid lines that's um that's the best way to do it. Like just color over a picture. Don't color pick. Don't color pick. Just color. Um. Pick. Yeah, just color. Try to try to look at it with your eyes and uh uh try to place the colors there where you see them. Okay, I'm not an expert on that. <laughs> But, yeah, but thank you. Uh, rendering is pretty hard. It's something I still haven't managed to get down. But there is this, uh, there is this one uh, YouTuber that I used to watch because they did uh, a bunch of Undertale fan art. Let me see if I can find them. They do a really good. Uh, they do really villain? great rendering. Yeah. I had a feeling. 
but uh they do uh, great um their art is so fucking beautiful yeah they do wonderful rendering i see also thank you celine <laughs> i also love memoria a lot uh the stream has been going on for almost three hours honestly i think i think that's gonna be it i can't find them all right <laughs> You can go now if you want to. I'll just do my uh, my goodbyes. Okay, bye everybody. Uh, Say goodbye, Gracie. Do hard Gracie, drugs. thank you again for accompanying me for almost three hours, especially when you're hungry. So now go eat. Okay, I'll go eat. Bye bye, guys. Bye. Do thank hard drugs. Skip school. Don't bye bye. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm really ha Well. Sure. I would love to. I just, I just don't know if it's gonna be complicated doing that uh, with um, with just a community post. <laughs> love you guys too. Uh, but if you're if you're able to make an Instagram account just to send them to me, you can. But if you want to just go with a community post, I will try to see them because sometimes YouTube doesn't notify me when you tag me. But I'll try. Uh, Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for bearing with me. I was very anxious doing this thing, but having Greasy around helped, even during the times where I was definitely doubting myself. But uh, there was a, there were a lot of people, but the people will be able to rewatch it later. Uh, but uh, but yeah, thank you for joining. I hope this uh, this could help a bit. I probably won't do this ever again because this brings me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> but yeah. Also, Yego, yeah, you you're allowed. You're allowed. You're allowed to DM me on Instagram if you're able to, or if you prefer to go community post. I again, I will try my best to check because sometimes YouTube does not notify me. But uh, yeah, thank you for being there. Hope this could help you, and uh, I'll see you eventually in the next video. Uh, Love you guys. Bye.